Don't know why. There we go. It only took forever. Don't ask me what's going on with this. But we are in business. Just let me uh, pull up the actual stream, and then we'll be good to go. I sent AJ the link link already. So hopefully he is going to hop in uh, pretty, pretty soon here. Just let me go ahead and mute this. Bear with me for a second. If you guys know, if you ever do streams, it takes a minute to catch up. All right, what is going on? It is a Wednesday. Hopefully you all are having a really good day. Hopefully uh, hunt day is not too terrible for you all. So we already know Wolf has been in here you know, since 5.30. So <laughs> he's been in here since 5.30, showing me this face <laughs> as always, but I'm here. Okay. I'm on time. All right. No, no CP time. Uh, Ghost underscore rip. What is going on? Uh, DJ 23, like Mike. Hey, hey, everybody. What is going on? Uh, Mr. Wes is here. What is going on? Everybody. What's good? I appreciate you. Pour in, pour in. We're definitely going to wait until maybe an hour or so into the stream because uh, there's big news that I have to share with you all. So uh, that's why we'll wait. We'll wait till we get to the height of everything. That way, as many of you find out what's going on as you possibly can come this Friday. But I thank you all for tuning in. So yes, yes. Hopefully you're caught up on a lot of content. Uh, that's been put out lately. So you guys know, I, I don't really have a slow down and off button <laughs> been, uh putting up videos every single day. So if you don't normally follow me on Instagram at talks.with.tj, um, I do a live chat. So it's kind of, it's considered goat talk. It's sponsored by goat shoe care. Uh, it's TJ and AJ, or we always joke the TJ and AJ show. And normally we do it on IG. Now, if you guys have ever gone live on IG, yes, it's very simple. It's easy to do, but they do cut you off after an hour. And then you have to hope that everybody just kind of funnels their way back in. We don't have to worry about that right now. You all can just, we can just keep this going because uh, no joke, it usually runs about two hours. But I do have some topics um, that I want to touch on. Some of it will still be related to everything going on in this country. Um, I just kind of want to double back to some of the, maybe the psychology behind, you know, the, the looting and things that happened and do we play a part? So this is going to be, this is going to be introspective. I'm going to look at myself as well in this. Do we play a part? Um, I'm going to ask you guys just your interest in something and then we'll for sure get to the big news and then whatever else you guys might want to get into uh, today. So as we're waiting for AJ to hop in here, um everybody chef tony g what is going on <laughs> say hey i'm here you are here what's up what's up what's up hey hey thank you i i got that ebook over to you so yeah if you guys ever request the, e the ebook you know just if you would like it just shoot me an email and i make sure to get back with you um if it takes me a little bit i apologize it means it got lost in all of my other emails um don't forget about joe so <laughs> Really? What? I don't need. Do I even want to know? Do I even? I don't even want to know. You better not be calling out just random light skin names or we're going to have a problem. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Wes said you might you might have an idea what Wes of what the reveal is or what the news is. What do you have? If you've been talking to Wolf, you probably do have an idea. I'm in the shop and I'm tired. Am I on the screen, Wolf? Answer the question. Am I on the screen? Answer the question. That's what I want to know. What's happening? Yes, we're live. We are live. Oh, I think it's like 38 of you right now that are in here. Uh, thank you. Yes, we are live. What is going on? It's funny because somebody asked me the other day. Thank you, Vanessa. Somebody asked me the other day. They go, or actually today, they go, wasn't your hair just in a bun? I'm like, that was Thursday. You, that was Thursday and Friday. You have to keep up. Also, here's a little trick for you all. If you are, um, if you're already a content creator or you use your platform very heavily for curating, there's a difference between just having social media and posting, right? You post your family and different random things you're doing, and then you're curating content. Um, make it easy on yourself. So the whatever content you all see, there's a 99.9% .9 chance it wasn't captured that day. Uh, my phone, so I, my, my phone is, I don't even know why it's so plugged in because it's not plugged into the wall. Um, my phone is the, like the biggest one you can get. It's 128 
gigs and I'm pretty much always almost out of storage just so you know because I have a lot of things that are banked in my phone whether it's videos whether it's b-roll it doesn't matter so yeah that that those vi those pictures still being posted if I do have a bun it, it's just to get content out there and dump stuff out of my phone uh truly yeah I got I got my hair done on Juneteenth it was very Juneteenth of me to go see my black stylist at my black owned hair salon to get my hair done yes very Juneteenth of me Yes, there is. Uh, we got we got some things. We got some things to talk about. I have. I'm gonna try to not showcase. I had to go pick up um, a package that should have arrived months ago, but uh, of course, a lot's been going on in the country, uh, so I don't fault the very gracious person that it took them a minute. But then it got sent to like not even my address from last year, but like from two years ago. <laughs> but thankfully, the lease office let me uh, let me pick it up. Uh, Man, listen, they work. Oh, they work. Unlike you. Oh, okay. But you're, I'm on the screen. So we're going to talk off camera. You trying, you trying me today. Uh, Chaotic Kicks, hopefully you are safe on the road, sir. Hopefully you are safe on the road. What is going on? Please drive safe. <laughs> Chaotic <it. laughs> Go AWOL. Be nice. Be nice. Go on AWOL. Be nice. Be nice. Okay. Listen, uh, Wes, don't start with me. <laughs> don't start. Has it, it's been a while since you've called, what, a video or a stream? Uh, when did I go live last? Last week? Yeah, last week. I mean, you guys definitely said you wanted to go live more. I, no matter what, will go live every single month <laughs> with AJ. So we're just going to bring it here um versus on instagram i just think this will be easier for you guys and i think i'll just go live as well um as topics come up now i, I think i tried to show you guys um just if you're not reminded because people always ask me like what do you use to clean your shoes i use this if you do don't follow me on um again instagram i actually did a short little animation where i showed you guys um, the Nike Dunk, the Michigan Quick Strike that I had from a few years ago, I think it came out in like what 2013 was the college pack. Um, it was too small for me. I did end up selling. I ended up selling that, no joke. So sold the shoe, got the money, immediately turned around and bought uh, Tony D's uh, sample parachute pants. So those, I bought the blue ones. So those should arrive very soon, and I I will do a full video on that. Uh, so I just flipped those shoes, got the pants because you all know I I. I I tend to care more about my closet these days. Not that shoes, of course, don't matter, but I tend to care more about my closet these days. And I had to clean the sneakers up. Not the top part. The top part was literally 10 out of 10. But the bottom, just the sole from like the two times that I have wore it, uh, I had to clean it up. So, yeah, this is a vault kit just so you guys know what it looks like. I did a full video on this too. Uh, but this is what the inside looks like if you guys were ever curious. So... Lots in there. Full, full, uh, full package comes with everything. Uh, it's great. Now it comes. Th this one comes with a soft bristle brush. So to clean your bottom soles, I would just please suggest you use a hard bristle brush. But that's what I did. Worked perfectly. Um, I do have some shoes I need to to clean up very soon. So you'll probably just see a random uh, video in relation to that. You said you've seen a video in a stream. Okay, awesome. I appreciate that. I really, really do. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, everybody, if you want to hit the like button, I know you guys are awesome for always, uh, always reminding people to do that because goodness knows I, I don't focus on it a whole lot. I end up forgetting. Uh, see you now, 23. You made it. Thank you. I appreciate you. So if you guys don't know, um, I don't know if his, where is his comment in here or did I? I don't even, okay, there it is. Okay, so guys, the Air Max 90 Supernova, if you don't know, this is the man that I got the shoe for. I got the shoe for CL Now 23, uh, aka the Air Max King. So this year, we know it's the 30th anniversary of the Air Max 90, and he's lit, he's bought all of them. I don't know if Nike's, <laughs> Nike knows this. I think he's bought all of them. So he wanted the Supernova as well. He was on vacation with his family. And I said, no problem. I'll pick that up, which was crazy. So that shoe did pretty much sold out. I see a lot of people saying, hey, I'm going to have to go the Stock X route or the GOAT route to pick that shoe up. So I went to Foot Locker after I got off work Saturday to pick up his size 10. And, you know, it was nothing crazy. But then I went back because I had to close Sunday and I'm back there in the store and they said, yeah, we only had like 
a size nine or something left. So people ate those up. That was really the moment. Almost it felt like where uh, somebody said, I think it was Skip Goes Hard said, did Nike jump over Jumpman for the release? And I feel more people were checking for the Supernova versus the great, um, well, not the great, the top three Jordan five, as we uh, as we call it. Uh, let me see here. Let me see here. Jason Moret, should I get the Air Jordan for bread or the Pine Greens? I have the Pine Green 2.0s. They're literally sitting back there. Um, but for me, uh, bread four. Go with the bread four. Go with the bread four. Definitely go with the bread four. What is going on, Tushers crew? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Yeah, bread four is like chaotic said. Definitely bread, bread, bread fours, man. Yeah, the pa the packaging is crazy. So the very first time um, I saw it, AJ uh, was is actually the reason that I saw it. And let me message him real quick and be like, "What? What? Is, what are you doing? Get your butt on this live." Okay. Uh, of course, he called me last time during the live, but he's not on this one. Yeah, the packaging is what blew me away the very first time that I saw it. Uh, let me see. Can you see? Okay, so this is the back, and it details everything that's on the inside. I mean, you, I, I love the fact that it truly does look like gears. Uh, if you don't know, I actually do have a tattoo. Well, you don't know, because I've yet to do the video on all of my tattoos, because I'm a slacker. But <laughs> I actually do have a tattoo that has um, gears that are worked into it. Did he message me? Your what? What in the, is he having technical issues? Okay. He's having technical issues. He's working on it. He's working on it. He's working on it. <laughs> He's working on it. Uh, yeah, the packaging is insane. So I, um, you know, just everything about it, all the little details, the gears on it, the fact that it is black and gold looks really, really nice. Um, do PayPal helps a lot for hype release. Um, I'll say this because I've been able to check out very easily on like sneakers app with PayPal without a problem. So the, the less you have to do, the better I, I would say try PayPal because every, the times that I've used PayPal, it's, it's gone through like that. So I would, uh, I would say that I would say that, Hey, I inspire you every day. <laughs> Thank you. I am truly humbled by that. Love from Florida. Bless your heart. It's way too hot and humid down there. I got people I need to visit, and they will be seen, like, in the wintertime. Not right now. Yeah, Jason, I think everybody is telling you just get the bread fours. Um, you can always uh, – Jordan, Jordan 1s are a dime a dozen now. They're, uh, they're still uh, the most amazing silhouette, but uh, they're a dime a dozen. Who's picking up the Animal Instinct 2.0 tomorrow? Not I. <laughs> Not I. That that's it's a it's a it's a it's a no 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 not happening. Yes, 13k. I am moving up. Um, however, I do know that focusing on the number is probably not <laughs> the thing that I should be doing. And I only say that because a lot of my content, the content that I'm truly um, passionate about, that I love the comments where you guys provide feedback. Hey, I, I've changed the way I manage money. Uh, I now have a budget. I'm looking ahead past just the shoe I want and what, what else needs to happen in my life. I care a lot about those, but trust me, those aren't the videos that, that get tons of views. There's not their videos that hit 10K views and, and above that. Um, so focusing on the number, I have to almost make myself not do that. It's nice to see. I won't lie. I mean, we have trackers on our phones to see um, what milestone we're at. It's really nice to see, but trying to tell better stories is what I truly need to focus on. I'm going to do my best to do that for sure. Oh, Polos and Jays. Hey, hey, what's going on? What's good? Absolutely. Listen, just, just making it absolutely, uh, making it appreciate it from two, six. Oh, so yes, I live in Indiana, but my phone is still three, one, three live in Indiana. My phone is still three, one, three. Okay, so Wolf is not feeling the threes at all. If you all are curious, these are his reactions. <laughs> so he said, no, you tried for the dunks and didn't get them. Um, yeah, I didn't go for the dunks. I didn't. So what's on my mind are the space hippies and then the off-white women's fours. Now, guys, we, we've we seen more pictures now surface um of the air jordan 4 women the off-white i have not this is probably bad i haven't checked if the official color 
Is it okay? It's sale is the official color. I know Sneaker Bar Detroit won't let me down because they're always on it. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna pull up. Yeah, I don't need you to tell me that. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. So yeah, we can see. Well, I <laughs> the joke of you know two Virgils or four Virgils. He's just gonna have to live that one down for 2020. I'm sorry, but uh, I I do know that he did an auction for that. That's not what I'm interested in right now, though. I just want to look at the shoes. Okay, this is this is why we're here, Virgil. We're here to look at the shoes, not the auction. Okay, so here we go. It is an all truly an all sale Air Jordan Four. I know some people are hot that it uses. Uh, the Nike Air on the back, because some people feel that should only be preserved for the shoes he wore on court, the true OGs. I'm not that uh, picky. I really want to say y'all are being ridiculous when you feel that way sometimes, but to each their own. It's just not something that is a bother to me. Um, that looks clean. That looks like the perfect aged vintage. That looks like if a all white sneaker perfectly aged. <laughs> It really does. Now, I know some people get mad that there are always men <laughs> that are modeling all women's shoes. Men, here's where I stand. I can't talk for other women. If you are able to fit the shoe and you want the shoe to wear, go after the shoe. Go after the shoe, sir. I'm, I'm not upset about it at all. I certainly wouldn't lace it that tight, but uh, go after the shoe. So I'm excited to, yes, I will go after this. And if I don't get this, there's plenty of other stuff that I actually need to buy. Uh, more than likely for my apartment. So we now know what the sneaker will look like. Uh, it's it's a, whew, it's a hot four Virgils. It is a hot four Virgils on July. I need to stop. But yeah, it is for, uh, once again, I'm not stopping. <laughs> it's $200, ladies. So we're creeping up into the premium price point. Do I like it? No, I don't. Those women's um, Air Jordan 11 lows that are coming out, they're 185. So we're, we're up there close to men's prices, but it comes with the hang tag, the translucent back heel tab. I like that a lot. Uh, the hang, now the actual off white hang tag. Will people keep that on? Who, who knows? I, I, I don't know if people are going to keep that on or not, but yeah, I didn't go for the dunks. I I'm, I'm looking forward to those shoes. Um, instead, uh, what do you think of those Jordan one zoom green and black? For me, it's personally a no, but I could totally see other people wanting to go after it just to see what what it's going to be about quality-wise. Hello from London. Absolutely. Hi. Still upset I don't have the Airbooks, the Air Max one that came out uh, for you guys. I just need to point that out. I'm still salty. London and Amsterdam. I'm salty. I'm still salty. I don't have that. <laughs> With mixed laces, two <laughs> Yeah, honestly, mix the laces, mix mix the laces for sure. Uh, where can I cop the uh, cop a Bulls jersey for cheap? Ugh. I don't know about cheap. Um, so for the Bulls jersey that I had, because I think somebody asked me about those. Um, one was a Christmas gift, so I don't know that I can like help you there. I don't know if they had to buy it uh, from eBay or not because the the stitched uh, Mitchell and Ness Kerr jersey that I have that was sourced from eBay too. It's normally like 150 or 200 or something. And I got, I paid the hundred dollars. I didn't want to miss out. Uh, but yeah, uh, the other one I lucked out, it was a Foot Locker going out of sale in Alabama, like Auburn area and a long, long, long time ago. And I ended up picking those up. So uh, I don't know. I mean, just start looking around and, and it depends what you're trying to find, right? If you're trying to get a specific, like a Jordan Jersey uh, Rodman and all of that, the last dance probably screws you over. I'm just going to be real. It, it probably didn't do anything for you. I have the best live chats. At least I answer people. I appreciate that truly. Um, I will say this. I give creators grace when they are operating a live chat because it really is about you being engaged. Like remember when we're doing this, we are talking to an inanimate object, which is a camera uh, that can be on a phone. Cause a lot of people think I use a DSLR. I use my phone. So it can be on a phone, it can be uh, here, this way, and you're trying to really 
let every part of your emotion and passion come through the screen, your personality. So it can be hard to focus on that and focus on the chat because you are trying to manage both. But thank you. I do try to get back to you. Thankfully, this isn't a Q&A, so it should run a little more smooth. If you want to think, yeah, you're going to you're going to pay about 100 bucks at least. Um, even the only time, I mean, there are even some replicas, right? You, you pay a hundred bucks. Let's look at, I don't even, is the NBA, I know the NBA is just getting started, but the store didn't shut down, right? Let me not troll the NBA. I'm very proud. I'm, I'm happy that you guys will come back. Let me not troll you because knowing my luck, you would not. And then everybody would blame TJ of why the NBA has not fully re 60. What? See, this is why I need to stay offline. What you mean 65% off? <laughs> you guys would see a massive unboxing of all Golden State Warrior stuff. That is that is exactly what you would see. A massive unboxing. All right, so boys, boys good. And listen, Wolf, don't say anything about the fact that I think Zach Levine is good, okay? You're going to claim he's part of some hidden um, light scan coalition that you think that I, I operate and run on the low or something. All right, where Nike is sent. Okay, so let's break it down also. It depends on uh, the type of jersey you get because Nike will usually be cheaper than Mitchell and Ness, but not always. I think the only reason my Kerr jersey was, wasn't as expensive, that person was able to um, sell at that discount because they did have a few and my size is a small. There aren't many men that can wear a small. Let's just be real. All right. So if, I mean, you can see this Mitchell and Ness one is $300. Um, same with this. Now these are also hardware classics. So keep that in mind. Um, the swingman Jersey, go for those. Those are normally what? 110. go for a swingman Jersey. Why not go for a swingman Jersey? Now, again, it's depending on if you're trying to get current players or not. But you can go for a swingman jersey. Um, I have a Nike jersey. So I have a men's one, a kid's, and then a, a, another men's one. So you have that option. This is a hardwood classic. There's just, you know, no name. But my, the Michael Jordan, the one time he, he wore 12. <laughs> uh, let's see. What else do we got? You have Levine's, and, I mean, it's pretty cheap. Now, this is the other difference. So replica jerseys, they are not going to be that upper echelon quality of the other jerseys but yes they are still licensed authentic jerseys that you can buy let's not get replica sneakers mixed up with replica um jerseys those are two very different things because again so if you guys don't know um was it was it was it kicks i don't let me double check i don't um aj you're good if you're watching this you're good i know you're having technical difficulties and i'm trying to look something up anyway um, so on kicks on their website, it was a few, I'm not going to say a few weeks ago. Don't let me lie. I think it was a week ago that they advertised that, um, there were jerseys that were marked down, uh, extensively. Now I wanted to get these jerseys in hand or a jersey in hand actually. So I could just show you guys, you know, what it was all about. So, and I'm, I wanted to say it was like shop jersey something. Give me a second because I'm, I'm looking at their actual Instagram. I don't know if that post is still up or not. Um, but yeah, I went ahead and bought the jersey. So we'll see what it's all about. But I don't, I don't think they're going to be the, the stitched ones. I think they're going to be the replica jerseys, which, like I said, replica jerseys are still jerseys. Um, you can look on the NBA website right now. And they have replica jerseys, but I feel like they post as much as I do, which is why I can't find this post. All right, whatever. Once once the jersey comes in, we'll we'll breach that when we get there. Uh, but yeah, I think I got I got I picked up the what did I buy? The Kobe Bryant eight because I got the flints, so I got the blue one. Um, yeah, you can get a replica jersey. No, uh, this is just me. You can keep the short sleeve jerseys. <laughs> this is just me. I hate when they have to wear those. I'm not a fan. They can keep all that. Um, okay, so if you are a woman and you want a swingman jersey, you're paying about 82 bucks. It's a women's cut. I don't, I don't really care for a women's cut. I'm just being honest. Uh, so go, I mean, here you go. You take a look around. Current players are always going to be cheaper. You're trying to go for the classics, and you're trying to go for Mitchell and S. You're going to pay more, but, I mean, you you get that, so... Hopefully that, ain't, that that helps you out a little bit. Wes said the off-whites, they got nicotine. 
Wes, are you going to talk about me if I get those shoes? Is that what this is going to be? A oh, let's roast teach it. I just got the 72 10 11s in today. The specs on them are insane. Yeah. Yeah. They're, we're not going to talk about mine, but <laughs> yes, they're amazing. Um, they're amazing. I'm not filling those off whites. You're not. Oh, well, well, if they're not meant for you, they're a woman's shoe. <laughs> they're not meant for you. They're a woman's shoe. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going for them. And if I don't get them though, I'm not going to be heartbroken, uh, about it. There are so many sneakers that come out. I truly move on. Wish they would have used a color for the Nike air to stand out on those fours. So would you, what would you have liked? Like a, like red, like the red heel tab maybe. I mean, that, that could have been decent. That could have been decent. Hey, hey, what's up? Sneakerheads clothing line. Appreciate you dropping in. Uh, who got the dunks today in the size 12? Yeah, he wants them, guys. Hit him up. Honestly, hit him up. What's up with the Toro 14s? I, I don't own any 14s. I've heard they're butter. That the Unbreakable Kicks said they're butter. So we already know. He already has them. We know Flight Academy will probably have five pairs sitting there. Uh, so I won't, I won't have them, um, unfortunately. Box taking over. I didn't stand a chance. Uh, so have you all been to a Foot Locker lately? Because they actually have, what is it? Um, they actually have a, is it champion? It might be champion. They have a shirt that says bots and it's got a circle and a line, <laughs> line through it. I think champs is trolling because we all know that, 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 I mean, so let's talk about bots before I'm going to get back to a lot of your comments, but let's talk about bots for a second because I am curious. I actually want to know, are bots the enemy for sneakerheads? If it's not working in your favor, that's my, that's my question. Is it the enemy if it's not working in your favor? So if it helps you secure a shoe or if you just have inside knowledge on when a shoe will drop, are you okay with that? You can, you know, comment that. How do you, how do you feel about that? And also have you all, have you ever been part of a cook group? Okay. That's question number one. Have you ever been part of a cook group? Have you ever been interested in it? And would you join one? Those are my questions for you. I remember when all the Jordans had hang tags. Well, uh, I'm a kid's size. I've been a kid's size. So one of the few hang tags that I actually have on a retro <laughs> is the, uh, the the Jordan 3 that I was able to pick up. Um, where did I pick up the Supreme shirt? Best laces out. They are in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Uh, you can find them on Instagram at best laces out. Um, all together and they have tons. What, what did he just post? He just posted some really nice stuff that he got in. Let me see. He, he just got, he got quite a few bape items in guys. If you are into bape, um, he got quite a few bape items in. he got a brand new human made nurture, which if you don't know, that's uh, by Pharrell. Um, so it's funny. He has this hard shirt, the Supreme gut shirt. And Dom, which is ugly shoes, if you guys don't know who I'm talking about, he actually has tons of Supreme stickers like that. But he has a lot, lot that he just added to the site. A lot of shoes, too. So Best Laces Out is where I, I, I so far, I source all of my Supreme stuff from. I, I absolutely love it. Ton, tons of options. Jordan in the backseat was saying, what's up? Hey, JoJo. <laughs> She's probably like, I know that voice. <laughs> Hit that like. I appreciate it. Thank you, Bean. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, let's see here. They're having, yeah, they're they're trying to they're trying to flood out. I think they're trying to flush out. I'm sorry, flood out. I think they're trying to flush out a lot of the older items sitting there. So right now, also in terms speaking of sales, NBA is probably trying to get rid of jerseys that are just sitting there in the warehouse. Um, go to your local Foot Lockers if you can. Kids Foot Lock, especially if you have kids. There's so much marked down. I'm not kidding you. There's so much marked down. Like check the sales racks because I had to actually tag and get items out and they were $9.99. I'm, I'm not kidding. Check your sales racks right now. Check your sales racks. Yeah, the NBA, they're trying to get rid of stuff. Wes, don't encourage. It is not a light skin mafia. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, not a last but Fanatics is good. Fanatics is a good place. I used to, I used to, uh, I used to shop at Fanatics a lot back in the day. A lot, a lot back in the day. 
A lot, a lot. I want Stitch jerseys. Well, you got Stitch money, so you fine. You can afford it. You fine. You can afford it. <laughs> yeah, the old, the old school champion. Sean, do you mean like the really thin ones? Like the super thin? I don't know that I want those. I don't care for the super thin ones. I don't know if I care for the super thin ones. Yeah, the Mitchell and Ness, they are top notch. It just depends on the money you want to pay. The Kerr one wasn't even a debate for me. Uh, for the fact that I like an obscure player and it was finally in my size, I, I just bought it and I'm glad I did because I guarantee you they would have probably shot the price back up thanks to the the last dance. Once you all found out what happened, you know, my man standing up for himself and whatnot. Yeah, he, he said he definitely like he likes their butter. Um, looking at that suede when I first saw it, I mean, I, I didn't. Certain colors, if you skimp on the quality of the suede, it, I just feel like it shows. So, is anybody checking for the Kyrie, the N7 collection? So, I saw these the sixes and I saw a lot of mixed reviews about that. Um, let's just see if we can look up. I'm sure I could go on sneaker uh, uh, news. Um, let's, let's see if we can pull up what's uh. Let's see, let's see. What's coming out? All right, so we have more 90s, which we should all expect at this point. All of us. Those look clean though. I like I like the I like the color palette. I do. I do, I do. Okay, those are hot. <laughs> Adventure runner. Those are hot. I like those. I like, I've I've gotten a lot of items that do have flowers in it lately too. Those are nice. I like the tan. Okay. 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 So this is what we're talking about right here. Um, I'm going to be real with you. Those are probably going to sit. I, I do. I think they're going to sit. If you're just a die hard, uh, I can't talk, die hard Kyrie fan, then you'll buy them. Uh, it's certainly the most casual looking set or Kyrie. I'm guessing that's a hot lava hyper punch. It's a really nice contrast to the sand that they're using or whatever they're going to call it. Uh, you got some slides. I have enough slides. I really do. I swear I have enough slides. I'm good on the slides. I'm good on the slides. The apparel. I like the top. Okay. So they got the whole collection. You guys can, of course, uh, check that out. Uh, to answer your question, will I be buying anything from it? No. Answer is no. Okay, so he said that he's bought it before. Didn't have an issue with it. Okay, okay. Um, what do you think about the Jordan 3 Blue Cement? Realizing that it's tomorrow. Should I get a, Right? Don't you love when they just it just creeps up on you and you're like, well, I'll be damned. That's a, that's a release tomorrow that I need to pay attention to at, uh, at 6 o'clock. Um, let me... Hold on. This is... AJ, he's going to try it from his phone. Okay. Uh, um, I think... No, that's not what I'm looking for. What am I trying to do right now? Or let me just copy. It is copy. I'm just going to... Let me just tell him, check your email. He should be able to just get it from his phone. He should be able to. Um... No, I don't want to open anything right now. Um, no, I'm not. I, I, I think they're, I think the red, I think I would say this. I think the red looks better than the blue. I didn't, I'm not going after either one though. Uh, in terms of, I don't know why, like a Jordan three to me, when it's predominantly black, when it's predominantly white, it looks really good to me. I'm, I'm not, not with all the blue. That's just me. If you want it, Certainly go for it. I am not going for it. Oh, he is here. Okay. What's up, Mr. Technical Difficulties? He's probably going to have to hop back out and hop back in because we can't hear him. Okay, so you're going to have to hop back out and hop back in. He'll be all right. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm just going to kick him out and he'll have to rejoin in. 
Um, I hate bots. It's not fair. Average people want shoes too, and these clowns are hogging on stock. Okay, so then here's my question. If a bot is being used to secure just your pair, like personal pairs, do you still have the same feeling about it, or is it a little bit different? Can you hear me? How about now? Now I can hear you. Now right. you're good. You're good. No, so, so I had to, uh, you know, I had to uh, get in my car and get on the phone because, I mean, lights and everything. I'm like, oh, okay, of course, Chicago, you know? So. <laughs> so. All right. Well, he's finally here, everybody. If you don't know uh, who I'm talking about. So on Instagram, ty 87 picks which I just nicknamed him Mr. Main Event because he's the Ryan Seacrest of sneakers. He, uh, most of you saw him hosting all of the panels at sneaker cons when all of those were still real things that people were able to go to. And then he made his rounds as well at every, uh, sneaker game. And the other thing. So now yeah. he's, back, so he's, got, he's got time. He's back home. Yeah. So now, no, now we're just, uh, now we're onto the screen. From the states to the screen, like what? What? What was your quote? Same, uh, something from. What, some, what I did I what say? Now I don't even remember, and I can't go back through all those messages. Um, <laughs> what did I say? Something like uh, from the states. Yeah, same host, different platform. That was. I think that's that's what it was. I think that is what I did. Yeah, yeah. or same same host, different stage, or something like that. But yeah. Yeah. You know, no, I don't have a bot. I'm I'm inquiring questions because. If I'm going to present certain things to you, right? Like, okay, so here's the thing. Um, we know that sneakers are more difficult to come by these days, even GRs, right? People were scrambling to try to get the Air Max 90s. Um, I don't see them, I don't see us just going back to the norms of what it was. Like, here's the funny part. So my mom calls me up yesterday. She's like, so I drive by Foot Locker and there's a line out the door. Is this what y'all are still doing to get shoes? Y'all are still lining up outside the door. And I'm like... Mom, first things have changed, okay? Yeah. We're, we're somewhat reverting back, right? Because, you know, I had to let her know that it's still um, it's limited in terms of how many people can be in a store. So that's probably why there was a yeah. lineup. Uh, but it's it's difficult, right? You're, you're hoping and praying and you can get your hands on shoes. So I'm asking about that because um, I'm curious if you guys would find, do you find cook groups or do you know people that are in cook groups that benefit and they see the value in it? Because if that's something you all are interested in, it's something I'm willing to explore, present yep. to you, and you all can let me know your feedback on it or how you feel about it. That's the thing. The whole point as a creator, you need to create value for those that are investing their time in you. So that's why I'm curious. That's why I'm posing these questions for you. Um, yes. Because that's something that I can bring to the forefront, to the doorstep for you all, but I won't bring anything that you're not ever authentically interested in. Yeah, and that's that's what I like about your channel, TJ. Like you you cater to everybody's needs. You know, not just like one or two people. I mean, it's good that you do help everybody, which is dope. So, I mean, myself, I am a part of a cook group, and you know that as well. And I've seen I've seen positive on it, but again, it's something what might be good for me might not be good for someone else. Right. So that's why, guys. That's why I'm asking the questions. I won't know anything unless you guys provide me that feedback. And then what I get from that, I'll go because you all know I am, I'm very authentic in letting you know, yes, I'll go after a shoe. No, I won't. If I have a shoe, I don't just buy shoes to show them to you and then return them to the store. If I have a shoe in my hand and it's not mine, it's because I probably picked it up to be honest for CO now, especially with the Air Max or something like that. Yeah. Those Air Max were fire. Uh, have you seen so Jay, the sneaker guy? If you guys don't subscribe to him, that man has the best lace swap game. It is ridiculous. He went through all the lace swaps for those '90s, and that's probably why more people want them. Bots can take everything. Those '90s those days, days. necessity. <laughs> yeah, being I, those. Those I mean, the, the whole Galaxy theme Supernova it was really dope. I don't know why. I, I mean, I do have a bunch of Air Maxes, but for me, it's more like, damn, I should have got them. Not on like no high piece thing or anything. But yeah, like, you know, like oh, I should have got them. Yeah, with the with the whole collection they did. To me, the ninety was the best, and then the two seventy react. The Air Max Plus was the most lackluster to me. 
Yeah. Um, it, just, it didn't have a whole lot. It was mostly like a black, gray, and white with, with a little bit of pop of color in it. It wasn't a whole lot. Um, all right, so we're going to show. He said, I'm thinking about buying and learning how to use it. I got in a cook group, but that's not good enough. Okay, so you're experienced with the group. It's not, is it not worth the value of what you're paying every month, maybe, um, for your membership, right? Because we, 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 if you were to pay in, you're doing this because it should greatly increase your chances, right, to be able to get something. But we all know absolutely nothing is guaranteed except taxes and debt. Mm -hmm. What are my thoughts on the Beller Fives that are set to release? Based on your face, oh, okay. oh that's your thinking face. Okay, that's the thinking face. Um, I, I told you I'm getting more into fives. Definitely getting more into fives. Um, I think the alternate grape fives. I think the color is real cool. I, I'm not going after them just to let all the questions go to the wayside. Um, yeah, that, purple, like, that purple is fire, though. It is. Yeah. No. 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 It is. Um, now is it let me pull it once again everything gets pushed back like it's not even fair everything gets pushed back so oh, there's gonna be more shoes that are gonna be pushed back be oh of course there are back. yeah i love how everybody's like uh to, to be determined in terms of all of the everything coming i, I wouldn't even, would even be surprised if the tie-dyes get pushed back a little bit i'm not feeling them at all so no nah, i'm good I don't own a single listen. I'm not, I'm not gonna say I don't own anything tie dye because me owning anything tie dye has zero to do with if I would buy it or not. Uh, no, but, that, the shirt that I sent you that I got off um, of uh, Pack Sun for like what was it eight bucks? No, that, that says, coordinates uh, for you. Yeah, that coordinates for you. That would be dope, but like, but that's more of like, I mean, again, I don't wear like tie dye like that. I just bought it because I saw it. But all right, guys, what are you talking it. about right there? Bel Air Five. To me, that's super clean. That's that's worth. Yeah. I would pick that over the top three five. Yeah. I would pick that over the top three five. The color, the the actual insole of the shoe to me, the all of the designs they use are awesome. I, I think it I think it's super nice. All right, DJ23 Late Mice at Bots are terrible as they just sell them $40 over retail. So it just costs everyone more. Are you what do you mean? Like the actual shoes themselves, they just sell 40 over retail? Oh, you mean I think that's how much is that how much bots cost? That's what he's probably saying. That you pay forty dollars oh. for the bot, and then it's yeah, bots. So you actually running a bot? I know is not cheap. <laughs> yeah, I know it's not cheap. You have to know what you're doing. No, because I mean, I think from what he's saying is right. Because if you're paying forty dollars for the bot and you're buying one pair, you could have literally just buy it aftermarket for like forty dollars more. I'm, oh I'm yeah, true, very true. No, okay, I, I, mean. I definitely get what you're saying there. I definitely get what you're saying. I there. think that's what he means. Okay, I said, I'm so interested in cook groups. Been trying to find info. The attitude of some botters are crazy and they don't want people to be able to cop manually. Yeah, you're going to have the two ends of the spectrum, right? You're going to have some people that are going to say, we're frustrated with not being able to get pairs that we want. And so we're going to venture into having an actual cook group. We're going to do everything in our power to secure a shoe, help everybody secure a shoe. Versus you're going to have that person that is out to get theirs. Yeah. Because we live in a capitalist society. They're gonna try to get there, so. But another you thing, are gonna have, I mean, listen, I'm with you all. So for the people that would think I wouldn't have an issue with bot or so, um, do you think I don't get subbed out of shoes that I've wanted? I certainly do. I I get on sneakers app and I'm just like, why did I even try? It's not even ten minutes. It's not even ten minutes and you know thirty seconds. It's not even ten a.m. and thirty seconds, and uh, I already don't have a shot at the shoe. Yeah. No, like, but one one thing I like about certain cook groups is something called Carden. So, you're, I know for one, the one of the groups that um I I'm part of. The reason I'm not saying it because it's you know we still have to talk about it a little bit. Right. Is, uh, is that it's called Carden. Sorry, guys, you're gonna hear my dog. I just came to my mouth face because of the whole <laughs> thing. So, yeah, Toby. Totally. So, um, Carden is like it's pretty much like a bot, but they card it for you. So if you're if you know you want a size 10 for sure right they're gonna charge you a little more but now you say hey i want a random size i think it's ten dollars extra or if you want to if you want to a specific size i think it's like twenty dollars extra so it's still cheaper than a bot which is kind of kind of cool right I think that and i know that like i know uh jumper man chris will advertise that a lot where they'll do um 
you know, the actual carts where you can, you know, have your cart secured and you pay a certain amount. I know a lot of his subscribers have benefited from that where uh, he'll, he'll kind of do like a recap of everything that happened and people will say, hey, thanks, used the, you know, sold a cart and, and was able to get my pair. So there can be benefits. Again, there's always going to be pros and cons. There's going to be a lot of opinions. That's why I'm asking you all what you think. Uh, Rod still appreciate you. Thank you for the donation so much. Appreciate it. What's the best day to find deals at Kids Foot Locker? Um, the best day. Every I don't know if there's the best day. It'll just depend on when your local store really gets um shipments delivered. So like for us, it's around Tuesdays. We'll get a lot of stuff in. So like we got a lot of stuff in Tuesday, but it, we've actually been super busy. So I got, I think I was able to get through a lot of the boxes on Saturday and Sunday. And that's when I finally found a lot of stuff in there. Oh, 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 oh. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. So, TJ, Champion was just super thin. Yeah. We were, we were talking about jerseys earlier. Yeah. Champion was super thin. And I am just not, a, I'm, I'm not a fan. I uh, can't do it. The Flint 7 is coming out in 2021. It is. That's just not a 7 I'm checking for, though. So I am I am passing. It's actually, it was – um, I mean, the OGs – I mean, I still got my OG pair, so I really don't think I need these new ones coming out. Yeah, I was going to say, are you going to get them or no? Probably not since I have – Probably not. I'd be interested I mean, in $20. Okay, the so there's a threshold with which you'd be interested in a cook group. For twenty dollars, here. <laughs> no, so let me ask you something, uh, TJ. Uh, I've been seeing people post a lot about, you know, all like pretty much Foot Locker having insane deals. Like there was Air Max nineties, ninety ones for like thirty four or something. Is that actually what's going on? Are they just trying to get rid of old stock or? So I can say I can I can speak for our store what happened. So when um when lockdown occurred within like our state here in Indiana, all shipments also stopped coming to our store. No matter what, the releases were still happening, but absolutely nothing was coming to our store, but we were still needing to fulfill orders. Um so right now, when we first opened back up, it kind of sucked because we didn't have the new new items that came out, right? We had the fives, the ones. The 13s, we're just now slowly getting those in, and we even finally got the DMP 6s in, but I think we got rid of all of those. Um, we were finally getting stuff in, but it was all old stuff still heavily in stock. So right now, they really are trying to dump things. Like the one pair of little um, baby Air Force Ones that I got uh, um, for, for Wes's uh, newborn, those were $9.99. Um, there are a lot of things where we're just trying to get rid of it. So it really will just depend on probably your general area of what's there. But yeah, we're trying to get white rid of it. Huh? Oh, no, not the white on white. It was like one of the No, two. yeah, it was the you royal the blue, one that you sent me, the, the royal blue, the teal, and then the yellow ones. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's really they're just trying to get rid this of stuff. Like we had a store, I don't know if they went out of business or got liquidated, whatever happened. All a huge part of their stock for clothes. Came to our store and it went straight to the nine ninety nine and fourteen ninety nine rack. And you guys still have all that, or is it still all? Gone? We have we have a lot of is it that we're still trying to we're still trying to work through a lot of it. But yeah, like Champion, I got that one Champion Letterman jacket. It was nine ninety nine. So you can get a ton of stuff for your kids right now, and they'll be set for fall. Especially for the Champion clothes, I will say that. Especially for the clothes. Uh, hey, kids, refresh! If you guys are not already sub to that woman, please do, please do. Uh, let's hear it. Well, let's not bash the ghost watchers, okay? Be be kind, okay? There are times where I'm hella busy and I'm not really uh, comment either. It's the people getting okay. So it's 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 not the people using bots as as I would probably say with discretion. It's it's for those that are trying to flip. Here's my part as well. Yeah. I would rather someone flip something that is legal in this country then flip something that is illegal <laughs> and actually detrimental uh, to future kids. I, I mean, that, 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 that's just me. Uh, what was the name of the Jersey site again? Um, let me, uh, let me see if I can pull it up. I think it's in my email. Let me see if I can pull I it know. up. Cause yeah, I ordered a Jersey from there. Now 
again, once it arrives, I think it's just a replica jersey. I'm going to be real with you. I think that's all it is. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is, yeah. Yeah, I think it's just a replica jersey. Yeah, I bought the Kobe Bryant, the throwback, the Hardwood Classic one. I think it's called yeah. Jersey Plug. Let me see. Oh, it's coming. They're updating the store. Oh, so it's actually closed right now. You have to have a password to enter. It's actually closed right now, which I know a lot of business owners that do that. They'll they'll lock the site down when they're updating it. So, uh, not that. Does this guy drive a white Range Rover? <laughs> yes, you I can do. You drive a very noticeable car. <laughs> Wait, how do you know? That's kind of. Because you you told me you drove a very noticeable car. No, not you. Was that chaotic? How's this person know? Oh, what you drive? Because they uh. Did you show anything oh, in the car that was recognizable? Maybe does this guy drive my Range Rover? Probably. Yeah. So you can get well, well, yeah. I mean, she does have a bot. It's me. Um, you're just you're you're the you're the person that's on call. Like, if I want the shoe, I need help. <laughs> uh, okay. So let's say it makes you uh, not want to buy the brand anymore when you have to get a bot or need to use a bot service. Uh, here's my thing. I'm not deterred or turned off from buying if I think a bot's needed because there are so many product lines and so many releases for Nike, for Jordan, for New Balance, for Vans. There's so many options out there that I could go back in the time and go get something else. And I'm going to love whatever I've gone back for as much as a new release. Man, Storm, Storm B28. <laughs> yes, I You see what they put? Yes, I do. Uh, <laughs> That's so weird. I'm currently in a cook group. It's helped a lot, especially uh, with bot snatching up stock. Hey, look, I, I think there's I think there's value in it. I think there's value in it. Um, if the Galaxy theme would have came in an Air Max One, I would have been all on. Yeah, I probably would have. I probably would have broke down and bought it if it was an Air Max One. I probably would have broke down and bought it. Um, for sure um yeah so pretty much cook groups the discord groups that if you guys see that that's exactly what it's referring to mm -hmm. well he said yeah i saw some of the gas station of dave and buster with the top threes they ain't flame like that no and and listen yes it it has all the elements of those three iconic fives but i'd rather just get a metallic five mm -hmm. I would rather just get a metallic five. The light gray ones, gray and red ones got pushed back to who knows. Did they really? The as listen, and somebody better not come in here calling them the poor, poor man uh unions. Man, those are fire. I don't know why people are hating on those ones. That I think they look good. No, you know everybody wants to give something the poor, the poor man something yeah. title. He's like, uh... Yeah, it was supposed to be... Well, Kick still says July 11th, but we know that's probably not going to happen. There it looks like. I love the Mount Prospect. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, so see a white range. Yeah, it has the trophy from love on the back. That's me. <laughs> that's me. <Crazy. laughs> thank you, thank you. I truly appreciate but it. Thank you. Thank you. Followers lives near me. That's awesome. You know what? What are the dunk lows that dropped today? All of the dunk lows that have dropped are good colors yeah they're all good colors just y'all just don't flame me that i haven't gone after them. wait it's the year of the dunks trust me on this one like let's go later on are we gonna get more I, are you get better talked about this on like the two lives or three lives ago the dunks that are coming out from now going forward it's trust me the colors if you like ogs all pretty much every single OG colorway is dropping again. I feel like I still need to go back and get the uh, the the shadow pack. Yeah, the J pack. That's yeah. That's I still need to go back and get the J pack and the shadow ones just so I can beat them up because it's a it's a low. Be to let's change the game. Don't buy any more J's. Listen, um, consumers hold the power. If consumers really got to the point where you got tired of poor quality of something and you just said, I will let this sit. Like, can you imagine the shockwave through Jordan brand? If a release came out, highly anticipated. People bought it. People bought it. Let's, let's say the resellers bought it, okay? Let's just say they bought it, they got their pairs. 
and no one hit them up to buy. No one walked into a store to buy. The cool gray fours, they went to the outlets, which is crazy. Yeah, they, people, well, but people still came in and bought them after the fact. I'm saying if they, you really let them I, sit. They did buy it, but they were available for a lot longer. But see, that's the thing. One thing, when it comes to the sneaker, the industry, you're ne it's never... You can all people say, "Oh, stop buying sneakers." People are never going to stop buying sneakers. Jordans, Jordan, the brand Jordan is never ever going to go out of style. Don't care how old you are, you could it could be thirty years from now, brand Jordan is still going to be somewhat going. Yeah, it's an, it's never it's never going to stop. Like I've said that we'll just stop buying, right? I mean, but I say that. I, I I just say that it's kind of just rhetoric because we both know in terms of human nature, you're not going to stop. Am I going for the cool gray 11s when they drop? Yes, I will be going for, I don't really double up on shoes like that, but there are certain pairs in my closet. Which I don't works. wear them a whole lot because I only have one pair of, so like cool gray 11s are one of them. I, I, I have them. I don't wear them a lot because uh, I only have the one pair. So once they drop again, I'll probably do the whole two pair thing and have one where I truly just beat it up and don't care. Keep the other one for casual wear. The other one can stay dead stock. But yeah, I, I definitely want to go after them. They're not dropping, so we can we can all rest rest easy there. But we don't know, Mister Mister. Just saying. Mr. knowledge here. We don't know. But no, we'll so see. before we get to the next one, it's so funny. So Storm B, he said he knew that was me. I'm gonna do something special. You find me next time, I'm going to give you a GOAT vault pack. How about that? You find me next time. Uh, TJ, if you, there we go. I'm going to give you one of those. Find me again next time. I might, I mean, maybe I might just start carrying it in my car, but. You actually uh, should. That would be dope. I mean, I do keep the, I do keep the, I do keep the wipes. Wipes stay in the car all the time in my glove box. But Storm B, you find me, you get a vault set. Which is kind of funny though, you know, so. Yeah, that's a little stalkerish too. Don't, don't. You got to be a good I mean, stalker. You got to be like a Joe Goldberg. Don't be a terrible stalker like Mark Wahlberg on Fear. Don't just be, a bad stalker. be a good stalker. Like, hey, remember me? No, who are you? Yeah, no, don't do, don't do that. Now we did a review on them on the Flint Seven, the two thousand six pair has good has good leather. Yeah, honestly, if you guys are ever looking for uh, breakdowns that have the most history you have ever been curious about, just go to Wear Testers. <laughs> yeah. See, the only thing about anything more than 10 years old that's why when i when we always talk you're like oh, are you gonna get those and i'm like uh because i already have the ogs the only problem is anything that old it could like it could like tear away the glue could come out so it, that's the only issue um i don't really wear them that, i mean i wear my ones more than anything else on my dunks so that's the only problem anything more than 10 years old just be careful yeah and you have to get to the point where I mean, I don't, I don't know what the time, the time range is that's recommended, but you almost and have to just p go through the pairs, put your feet in them, just so the warmth from your feet can warm the glue up <laughs> inside the shoe, and then just, just uh, put it back in the box. I will buy. I don't mind buying used, older pairs because I know they've been worn at least one or two times, and they're just gonna, you know, they're just gonna. Be there, so. I'm not dealing with you today, Wolf. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> um, what about the Yeezys tomorrow? Is that not even a topic of interest? Um, I'm going to talk about it. I, it. It's not. Listen, he and I will not be discussing it. Um, yeah, exactly. There you go. He and I won't be discussing it. You don't have Adidas. You don't own Adidas. <laughs> this is um, not to say, listen. I have owned Adidas in the past. It was more so for track. Those were the spikes that were available in my size that I really liked. They were in, they were in black and red. So I got red color spikes, even though my school colors were, were blue, silver, and white. But I, if you if you like them, go for them. Mm -hmm. No for me, though. <laughs> it's just not happening. Not happening. Yeah. <laughs> He's been trying to get me to buy the Wave Runner forever because that's the only one I think looks really good outside of – now I do get flamed sometimes because I do I think the the seven I don't think the seven fifty is that bad. But when you compare it to like Air Easy Two, then of course it's bad. What's your favorite the ben only flavor? I'm trying or I'm I'm trying to try some. You've never had it. Okay, so 
Full disclosure, um, TJ does live in moderation. Yes, I eat healthy. I'm in the gym. All of that. But the very first things I've added to my cart lately and Walmart grocery pickup has been Ben and Jerry. So I can tell you this because I have to go pick up my order tomorrow, girl. Let me help you out, as my dad would say. Let me, let me, uh, let me help you out. So I love the milk and cookies. The chocolate chip, um, so they have the chocolate chip cookie dough and then they have chocolate chip cookie dough core. Get the core because it's like huge chunks of actual cookie dough inside of it. And then I have brownie batter core in my freezer that I'm gonna try tonight. I haven't tried it yet, I'm gonna try tonight. But for sure milk and cookies is really, really good. And then a chocolate chip cookie dough core. Um, I'll let you guys know how I like the brownie batter. But yeah, for sure get that Ben and Jerry's. Listen, I will pay for these overpriced uh, pints because they are doing God's work in terms of Black Lives Matter. So I'm with it. I am, I am truly with it. Yeah, what he said. Cookies and milk. Fact, mm -hmm. fact, fact. Fact. Dunks are impossible to touch right now. Um, I know people who actually, they still get lucky on Sneakers app. Don't ask me how. They still get lucky on Sneakers app. One of my coworkers does. He's hit on every off-white dunk i think it's either every off-white dunk or he's he hit on like the strange loves he did hit on an off-white pair and he hit on something else he's done decent on dunks i don't know how and he never keeps the shoes yeah. they have more college covers colors coming they do uh so they they released what was back in 2013 they did the quick strike so they're gonna um, be out to be true to your school. So Michigan's is going to come back out Syracuse. So what do you mean? Much I'll wait. I'll wait and I'll get my real size. I'll get an actual men's six and a half and it'll fit better. Oh, pretty much everything's coming back out. Low Jordans next year. Bless up because guess who didn't capitalize on all the low Jordan ones when they first came out? Me. The only pair I have, actually, I do have them right here. Is that so the Metallica back out. So for the low ones. So these are my favorites. They're amazing. I really want the court purple pair, but it is high, it is highway robbery. Mm -hmm. on, uh, even on stock X for my size, it's highway robbery for a kid six and a half. So they're rebringing out the metallic, uh, metallic low ones. Who put? Um, hold up, hold up, because I'm about to. Who put that? I'm having to scroll up. Well. Yeah, no, no, there's no Michigan State. There's no Michigan State love here. There's no, okay? I disowned I disowned all parts of Draymond Green that are associated with Michigan State. <laughs> mm -mm. We, don't, we don't do that. Um, yeah, that's that's me. It's If it's a pair I have and I know I only have one, I don't wear it as much. Like right now, oh, I'm getting tons of wear out of my Carmine 6s now. <laughs> And if you guys aren't aware, they did update the date for that. So it was going to be the weekend after All-Star Weekend. And now it's that weekend. It's February, what is it, 13? I always think it's funny that they do All-Star Weekend Valentine's Day because there's a lot of women that be salty as hell. I'm the person that's salty that somebody thinks I should be focused on anything else that weekend outside of, like, basketball. Like, go sit yourself down somewhere. Go do something else productive with your life. Don't be asking about other stuff that's going on that's not associated with basketball during that weekend. Um, I'm trying to look at a calendar. I don't know why I'm just looking at a phone. Like I don't have one. Because I think this calendar here is only going to show me January anyway. Yeah, it only shows me January. That's not helpful. But, yeah, it's the 13th that is coming out, so I need at least two pair. Fact, I need two pair. Uh, Trey D, I did not see you make your way into here. What is going on? Nobody say a word and listen here, Wolf. Okay, yep, he's another light skinned person. Say something if you want to. Got another donation. That's awesome. Yeah, I do. I need I need tons. I need that core. You do. I like. I think. I don't know if I just finished it off or it's almost done. I have like the regular chocolate chip cookie dough. It just doesn't hit the same. Like there was a huge chunk of cookie dough, like two nights ago when I was finishing off that pint, and now I'm disappointed. I feel let down. <laughs> the lows are amazing, and and no, I didn't go up through the the women's Carolina ones came out, and then or the UNC I should say, 
And then they had the red and white ones come out. I didn't go after those. Now everybody's and then in the locker New York. We still have a full stock of court purple ones. What? Are you serious? Well, you know what? New York is what shut down. You are you guys even open yet? I don't think you're open yet. I was just you there. Know, every, I, don't I, don't think, I don't know if they're open. Oh no! Wait a minute. I think never mind. Uh, Corwin uh, manages the Nike store there, and I think they might be open. They might be open. No, on the Nike store on Broadway was closed. It was is it? Oh, it's still, um, I don't know which Nike store he he manages. Uh, appreciate the donation, TJ. What do you think about those Champs Dunk Lows? They're oh, awesome. Yeah. Listen, if you are a Broncos fan, if you are, I mean, these these could still work for Syracuse. They're blue and they're they're the that deep blue. <laughs> Well, that's what they are. They're supposed to be. They're supposed to be, yeah, supposed to be the, the – why are they calling them champs? Why not just call them – or why – they're calling them champs. Why don't they just call it the actual school name, though? Because champ – I mean, they won, I guess. I don't know. Because if they, if, they if they name it the school, they have to pay the school. Oh, yeah, true. Okay. Well – Even though it's a Nike or a Georgia – Even though it's a Nike school, yeah. I, I think they look really good. So, for anyone that um, – Listen, if you're able to get your hands on them, it's clean. I think it falls in line with all of the other dunk lows that we've seen. You can you can just you can rock those. That can be a daily fire shoe. And I think people will appreciate seeing that shoe on a consistent basis. I mean, dunks are supposed to be like kind of beat up, like just like Jordan ones. Just just wear them. That's what uh yeah, James from from uh off the cut. That's exactly what he does. He he beats yeah, you see him, he wears all his. Jordan won fats, mids. <laughs> BX, what, what? I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> so I thought we were better than that. <laughs> yes. See, this is why we get, this is why we get in trouble. But yeah, LSA is in the building. This is why we get in trouble though, Trady. <laughs> Cause they, they think it's a whole coalition with like you, me, uh, Zoe, <laughs> Booker, Clay, Steph, Levine, um, Kuz, you you name it. They just think we're all on this little. They think we have like cloaks and everything that we wear around. Wouldn't the All-Star Weekend be different now since the NBA will most likely start in December? Who knows? Like, so that's a good question. What is it going to look like for All-Star Weekend? And I'm asking that question because it was supposed to be in Indy, which is in my state, which I let everyone know. I don't care where you think I'll be. I will be <laughs> where the game is. So I don't know what's happening now. That's an amazing question. Um, are they going to move forward with the normal schedule? Like what? I, I mean, I don't even – I want to say what the NBA will look like for next year. Are we even going to get through football season? Okay, am, am I going to put myself in the position to now have my Saturday free? Right. Huh? Baseball's on right now. 60 games. Yeah. So NBA, I think, is only 27-ish. I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to try to get catch every game, every, every Yankees game. <laughs> this is not going to be easy. Oh, my goodness. Uh, McDaniel, absolutely appreciate you. Thank you. Just want to say thank you for all the content. I want to say thank you for your time, the donation. I truly appreciate it on everything. Right, I get that? How about, can I hold a dollar? Can you hold a dollar? <laughs> I'll let you know. I'll let you know. I'll, I'll have to check. I'll have to check my budget and see if you can hold on. <laughs> As I've literally, I messaged him yesterday. I said, somebody take my phone. I just ordered new jeans. I just ordered jeans and socks as if I don't own a lot of them already but yeah i, I just uh, listen people are like i don't shop as much because the malls were closed i don't shop at the mall anyway i literally shop at home off on my phone so yeah i've been getting packages after pat i'm like oh, crap it's i feel as if i am the stimulus package for the post office in my area i'm making sure that they are that they're all employed Okay, BX, are you saying you're going to tag Wolf on Instagram and he says he's going to block you? <laughs> I'm sure I'll hear the story of whatever's going on. I think the NBA will have a shorter off season, so start earlier. Here's the thing, though. These players play at such a high level of intensity 
that off season has the length it does for a reason, right? So to shorten it, uh, I don't, I don't know, how, I don't know. How the, I'm not going to say this. I don't know how the players' association is going to feel about shortening it, right? Yeah. That's going to be the concern for hard. people that need to rehab. I get that they've been off this whole time, but rehab is still rehab. But the thing is, they even them being off, they can't really work out. So some of them are like, I'm sure they're going to be rusty. Okay, so Virginia, 2019, UVA code. But isn't Virginia's a okay? Virginia's a Nike school, though. That's why I would think they could call them their actual school. But I get they might not want to pay a royalty to school. Fine. Um, I'm still heartbroken about the fact that Michigan should have won the one year. And then we let the no-name kid that nobody knew. I'm glad I actually forgot his name because it was a dagger to my heart when he came out of nowhere. <laughs> I got over 100. Yeah, no one knows how you do that. I'm just going to be real with you. I'm unfollowing you again. <laughs> you know what? The inbox of funny jokes and that starts today. DJ, I get that they've had five months off, but it's not it's not five months off with their consistent life. It was what like so so what if you have a lot of players? What if they aren't worth what Steph Curry is or LeBron James, you know, can be where they may have that full court facility in their home, have the private access. So I'm just saying, what if what if a lot of players didn't? They're not having a normal off season. I we us normal people weren't even allowed to be in the gym. You know, so if what if they didn't have access either? And their level of intensity, what they, they may need to train, is going to be different than what you and I would need to train for uh, a few pickup games. So, I, you know, I don't know. I think it's going to be interesting to see what sports goes to, period. I mean, just hands down. Um, it'll be interesting to see. I, I don't know what it's going to be. I'm just being real. I have no idea. As excited as I am to see it come back, um, another thing that we're seeing now, there are some players foregoing playing because they choose to want to be in the forefront, right, of everything going on. And that's kind of one of the things, so I'll touch on, since AJ's in here. So we know that, excuse me, we know that a lot of, um, right, sneaker boutiques and stores, so businesses that we have a connection with, they were looted, they were decimated, right? Some were just broken into, some were burned down, things like that. So you had people, and I'm just going to say young adults, they were grown as people that were doing this too. But you had people that were associating like, this is as valuable as me going to get actual valuables. Like people weren't breaking, trying to break into banks, and don't get me wrong, listen, you trying to break into a vault bank is stupid anyway, because you're not going to get a whole lot. But if people were trying to go into the targets and stuff, were they taking the essentials, right? Were they, were they taking tons of food and must have items to stock up for like, you know, if we're all truly in lockdown or was it that perceived value of the sneakers and the clothes? How did that become the epitome of what everybody should, you know, that, that, that's what it is. And my question to everybody, because we post unboxings, new clothes, new shoes, new everything all the time. Have we kind of sent that message? This is what you need to aspire to have by any means necessary. Because I'm curious if that's why young adults or just adults in general, why people did that. Because think about it, for you to go after like a store, to me, listen, that, that would not be the thing I would think to try to go after. At least it wouldn't be for me. And I don't know if because I'm, I'm different, um, but that just wouldn't be for me. And I just thought about it by the fact that we post all of this stuff all the time. And we don't post, well, I do, but we don't post the, this is a responsible way that you should get something. Or you don't see, like you all may not see all of the work that AJ has either put in for years for his own business, the brands and businesses he does consulting for, or, con or you know, he's contracted with. Um, that's a lot of work from sunup to sundown. And then to still work on your own stuff. All you see, the fact you may think, oh, AJ has well over 600 shoes and he has this and he has that. But there's a whole story behind it of how it was gained responsibly. And I'm almost curious if, do, does anybody think if we push that, do you think that would have deterred anybody 
from looting these stores, not you know going into these stores, or do you just think it's too far gone? That there's so much money to be made in reselling that people don't care. There's too much clout to be chased after to think you have a, a fly pair of shoes. That's why people went after it. I'm curious to know what you all think, especially Wolf, since he wants to talk about everything else under the sun in my chat all the time. <laughs> Chat's blowing up right now. It's awesome. It is. I showed 58, so I appreciate you all. Truly, truly. Truly, truly. Well, I don't know why you're sitting here arguing with, <laughs> with Tommy. I have no idea. But that's just my thing. I think um, kids, so often, they see a lot. Okay, so Storm B said, people are going to steal. You can't stop it. So you think it's just a, it's just a fact? If given the opportunity, people will take that. They'll take that, that chance, and they don't care? Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. I mean, it just felt like it was way too much going on. For that, you know, I'm like, it, for the cause, I understand it hurt, but destroying the same businesses that you guys were trying to support to get, you know, yeah, like, I don't know. I mean, for me, okay, it's just, so DJ23 said they looted the sneaker stores because it's easy to sell and can be traced, and also massive demand because stores were closed. Those people are trash. I can see it both ways because. There, there were people that were more outraged by the looting. And I can never see myself being more outraged by an inanimate object being stolen versus a human life being taken and being taken for absolutely no reason. Um, but yeah, it, it, it happened. And I think for all of us, when we were seeing it, we were already processing everything else that was going on that moment, right? Especially if you were black, if you are a minor minority of any kind, you were processing all of that on a, a very deep level. And then within sneakers, right, we want to say it's a community. And then you saw people that claim to be, well, you, you, you pray they actually didn't say they were part of the community because being part of it, you shouldn't have ran up into anybody's shop stealing stuff. But they went in and they're stealing, they're taking everything, they're decimating. It's somebody's life work. I don't care if you don't like them, right? People can feel how they want to feel about Sean Witherspoon. People can feel how they want to feel um, about, uh, you know, Flight Club being too high a price. And anybody, if you got that, that's your right to have a perspective, to have thoughts and opinions. But it was so much. I mean, it was, it was post after post after post of all of these stores that were hit. And I just thought like, so this is, this is what people think. Cause some, you know, some people didn't, they didn't flip them. They went in and got those shoes and they actually wore them. They went looking for their size. I do. Capitalism has many forms, including stealing. Yeah. A lot of people said the biggest robbery occurred when, uh, with, with multi-billion dollar businesses, you know, they were given assistance from the government when small businesses couldn't get it. Or when Americans got what? The average is the $1,200 for a, a stimulus check. You were still having to figure out if you were going to pay rent or if you were going to put food on the table, um, which I don't know how to tell you this. Buy food. They have to go through a process to kick you out. Um, if people is going to loot, the last thing in their mind is the store owners. It, it is. And, but, but here's the thing. So is that a society problem? Was, was it pretty much absolutely nothing that could have been done about that? whether it was sneakers or not, clothes or not, there was nothing that could be done about it because we are such a only care about myself, only look out for myself. And I'm not saying you looking out for yourself is a bad thing. Too many people don't look out for themselves enough and it puts them in a terrible place. But are we so focused on just what I want that you don't think about how it's going to affect somebody else, right? Because a, a lot of people just walk through life blind and selfish. They give no damn at all what they're doing, right? People don't care about the store owners. There was a clip that was posted back from the 19, what's the 60s? It might've been the 60s, but it also might've been the riot the, the, when Rodney King was killed in those riots, where there was a black business owner. He came from nothing. He came from the ghetto. He built himself up. He had his own business. I think he had his own truck. And they tore that down, just torched it. It was just decimated. And he said, you know, what did I do to you 
He said, I came from the same streets you did. I grew up with absolutely nothing. I'm back to having nothing now. As if, you know, he wasn't outraged and mad and, and scared as a black man as well, but no one cared. A friendly reminder to wear your mask. Yeah, folks, Rona didn't go anywhere. Um, he said, yeah, but it mudded the water on the real issues in the world, trash stuff, but looting not for me. It did. Quite honestly, it did. And I think we're seeing that now um, even more where conversations are being shifted. Conversations are being, it's, it's going like one of two ways, right? Conversations are either, and I've seen this, your timeline is back to normal, right? Nobody's caring about Black Lives Matter. Or you're sadly having to question, is it authentic for a company standing behind the hashtag Black Lives Matter? Or is it, I understand the black dollar is very powerful in the market. I don't wanna lose that consumer base. So I'll do what I have to do. That, those are other discussions now that are being had. Uh, hey, go Weezy, what is going on? Go Weezy. Yo, 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 what we missed? You missed a lot, goodness, where have you been? Um, if Flight Club got robbed, I care less because they've been robbing their customers for years. So is it a so it was a okay? So for you, was it subjective? Was it based on maybe your own prior respect that you might have had, prior, you know, before this all happened? So if you had a lot of respect for the company or the owners, were you were you more saddened for them, or you just felt they were trash? <laughs> as you say, for, for robbing people for years. Here's the thing, though. You're saying they're robbing people. Don't we all have a choice of what we spend our money on, though? You don't have to buy from them. Yeah, you don't have to buy at those prices, right? Like, here's the thing today. I could go out and, and I've said this before in the video, I could go out right now, pay the 1200 and just go buy a Union 1 in my size. I could. I don't want to spend that, though, on a shoe. So I'm not doing it. That's my choice. I'm not going to call the sellers on StockX trash because they're doing that or on GOAT trash because they're doing that. That's their choice. We live in a capitalist society. You have a choice to present a product or service at a certain price, a certain rate. If that buyer doesn't want to pay it, that's their choice too. He said, Fly Club is just a store. What about the people whose shoes were stolen? So I know that was a thing addressed as well, right? If your shoes were stolen, then what, um, right? Is, was there insurance? Because here's the thing for insurance, right? We all know, and, and I know some insurance companies might pay out the market value. No, nah, they do. All of them are gonna do that. So that's like for me, I, I, I paid like 500 or 515 for the off-white. Um, the desert or 90s what if they what if something happened right my shoe's stolen what if they only pay me the retail cost of that shoe you and i both know i can't then go take that and go buy the same shoe i can't i can't do that at all he said just because flight club was robbing people it doesn't give people the right to run through their store have some tech exactly because and again we're not focusing just on looting i'm looking at just all aspects of it because to me People, people ran into these stores again. It's a quick flip. Sneakers has become such a commodity just to be sold, not even to really be purchased, just to be sold. That reigns supreme over respect for somebody's livelihood, everything they, 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 they work for, they now have to rebuild. Um, yeah, I, I, I would say there, there was tact in there, regardless of what they're doing, right? Um, to try and be above what what's happening to you or what's happening in the world. I'm not saying it's easy. <laughs> um, some of us want to act two feet at times. I'm not saying it's easy, especially when you have a lot of um, built up hurt and, and, and aggression. Um, if Flight Club is robbing you, don't do business there. <laughs> Back to listen and mess with Wolf. Y'all go ahead and have it out in the chat. I mean, the same way as saying if you and me are both resellers. If I'm selling something for a thousand, you're, I mean, the, it doesn't make me. That's what I'm asking for it. You 
know, you, you can go to TJ and buy something. Yep. Resellers, right. I mean, and, and think about. And there's some resellers out there that are selling for higher than what Flight Club is. So it's pretty much the same thing. Flight Club has to cover overhead costs, lights, this, that. So it adds up. I mean, so I'm sure Stadium Goods does the same thing. Yep. It so has anyone stopped shopping at certain places? That is a good question, right? We know that um, quite a few of us, right? It, 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 some people, I'm pretty sure they either reached out to the stores that were hit if you had a connection with them, tried to help them maybe rebuild or something if you could, um, still purchase things through them so they still had a flow of business going. But based on everything going on, good question. Has anyone stopped shopping at certain places? I know a lot of people are done done with Starbucks. I don't drink coffee, so this didn't affect me at all anyway. Where he said, I stopped shopping at Starbucks, Chick-fil-A, among other places. Okay, was Chick-fil-A based on the the uh, the information that was put out of who they support campaign-wise? Was that the reason? Starbucks, I know, is a little bit different of why people have stopped supporting it. He said, facts, Fly Club isn't making anyone pay them. It's not. It's, it's kind of the whole uh, Denzel and training day. I mean, even though he lied because he really did put a gun in do tip, but you know, it, it's not like I put a gun in your head and made you buy those sneakers, you know? It feels that way sometimes, but he said, I'm not buying at any consignment shop anymore. Is that based on this or based on something else? And I'm just, I'm just simply curious because I, I understand the value of a consignment shop now, truly. Uh, working with one because of, of what what I'm able to find in, in source um, that's not always available somewhere else. Or if it is available somewhere else, it then comes down to like, what is the price going to be? Um, he said it's a PR stunt for most companies, but I've been in many mixed relationships and experienced racism firsthand, consistent war day by day. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I've, listen, in relationships, I've been with black men, men that were mixed with, uh, um, half, half Mexican, half white, just white. And you're going to experience a lot of different things and a lot of different, um, relationships. Some of it will be from friends. Some of it will be from family. Some of it will be from random strangers. Um, I do think those that are in, interracial relationships see a lot more than those who are not. I will say that you, you are able to observe a lot more, but you think it's a PR stunt for most companies. So you think they are just pushing this to earn that black dollar. Is that what you're saying? Uh, so you're referring to it. Okay. So it is from 92. It was a documentary on LA riots on Netflix. Still relevant. Yes, it is still very relevant. Yeah. That's what it was. Okay. I knew it was either the sixties or, or, or early nineties. Um, I underwrite insurance for a living. So are they going to give it back? He said there's something called replacement cost and actual cash value when replacing property. What's more likely to happen? What's more likely to happen? Is it cash value? I mean, like, like Riff LA posted that when the last time they got broken into, they lost a million dollars worth of inventory. Mm -hmm. And they only getting... I think I'm like two hundred thousand dollars back, and it took six months. So I don't know. It, it's, uh, yeah, people. If you've ever been in like a car accident, you know that that insurance payout takes a minute, right? You you've been in any kind of accident, insurance payout takes a minute. It's it's they're they're not so quick to want to give you money. <laughs> um, I see Fly Club prices as predatory. I see what happens to them as the price of doing business. I feel sorry only for the mom and pop stores that got looted. I think some people felt that way all around when this was going on um, because I saw, and I'm, I'm not going to say I didn't feel this way. Right. Um, the big brand stores, they, they have the ability to recover faster, right? A target, a Walmart. We see how quickly they can restock their stores versus a smaller mom and pop stores. Not necessarily right. The line of credit they're operating on through a credit union for a business loan is totally different than what Walmart or Target or some other bigger store operates on. I, Cause yeah, there were some that didn't return, right? Like that's the concern right now. As states are opening up, 
what are people, you know, what's, what are we opening back up to? Because there are like, what, 30% of businesses or the, I don't know the exact, I forget the exact number, but there are a number of businesses where there aren't jobs to return to for them because they didn't survive this. Now businesses very rarely, right? I mean, a good chunk of them, like 50% don't survive the first two years and then 30% don't survive uh, the next three after that to even make it to five. You said I learned that if I did not buy for retail, then I just let it go. Some people feel that way. I think this year was the first year like snipers really ever paid resale for anything. What's Most good? times he just lets it go if it's not for retail. Pushing kicks is in the building. What's good, Alan? He said religious political views for Chick Fil A. Okay, so this is kind of kind of kind of prior to. Um, yeah, they do because because I do remember back there there is that hard conservative line that they tend to push. Which brands, just like individual creators, learn um, you have the right to have your perspective on things. Just know it can shift people one way or another. Um, did you read up on before you just stop eating and buying places or just go with the media? Um, for some things, it was probably based on the past, right? For a lot of us, we know, like I think there was the story um, in terms of birth control rights or access you know, with certain certain businesses wanting to allow it, not allow it, cover it, not cover it in health insurance is a woman's right to have access to. So that might be what he's referring to. Like I do know Wendy's came out and stopped real quick when everybody said, hey, Wendy's donated to the Trump campaign. They were like, we have not donated to anything or anyone's campaign. So businesses, some are open, some are not open um, about it, so. <laughs> Woof, are you firing at people? What is happening? What is happening? Are you firing at predatory? What? There's payday loans out here. That's predatory. That is the definition of predatory lending right there. Yes, I don't see it predatory. Listen, regular commerce is not predatory. A payday loan is a licensed loan shark. The only difference is Uncle Vito is not coming to break your kneecaps when you don't pay up. <laughs> it's the only difference. <laughs> it's the only difference. It's terrible. Listen, the one thing, I'm gonna tell you two things don't you ever, ever do, okay? People, listen, all 54 of you. Do not co-sign for anyone, I don't care. Just don't. Do not use a payday loan. Just don't do it, okay? You like you end up paying like 200% interest. Just just don't do it. Just don't do it. He said Chick-fil-A is experiencing record profits. They are fine. He is not lying, okay? I get a free sandwich all the time because I'm there all the time. Now, I will say this. I'm not going to say it's easy, but to Mature to a point where you have conversations versus debates, because I don't see a reason for me to debate people. There should be enough respect for somebody to have an opinion that differs from mine. Do I fully grasp it if you are trying to impede on somebody's human and civil rights, such as their sexuality, um, a woman's right, or what happens with her body? No, I, I don't agree there. So we cannot agree, but... Some people will either want to can uh, people want to cancel businesses, cancel individuals based on their beliefs being different. That's a dangerous ground to play on because all of us could get canceled for something. I mean, at least that's how I feel. All of us get canceled for something. It doesn't leave room for people to grow. Um, are there some people that are just unforgivable? I'm not going to align with. Yes. I have zero problem saying Trump is one of them. Just, and that's not to say that, again, I believe somebody can change, but if people are showing you behavior again and again and again and again and again, they're painting the picture as dark and terrible as this picture is, stop trying to repaint it, stop. Just take your ass back to the store, return the paint and move on. <laughs> stop trying to repaint it. You're never gonna repaint that picture. Um, don't be surprised if you ever see me up here with a dirt label flannel that says anti Trump social club on the back. I'm just gonna let y'all know. <laughs> anti Trump Trump club. 
<laughs> and listen, that is an amazing flannel, and I want the I want the flannel. I don't know. I just don't know if I want blue or red yet. I just don't know if I want blue or red yet. Um, never, never, never do a pet. Yeah, just, just, just don't. It's dangerous. Um, it's dangerous. And listen, people, you don't, you don't understand the payday loan. Okay, do I need to reference a movie for you? Um, I'm a big horror movie buff. If you people are ever wondering things about me, I'm a big horror movie buff. So, the collector, the collector, the collection. That's how the dude got caught up. Baby mama owed a loan shark and he had to help her pay up or very bad things were going to happen to her. That's how he got caught up in all that mess. Uh, keep pushing kicks. What is going on? Hope all is well. All is going well. Not bad on a Wednesday. I don't feel like cooking though. So I'm probably going to go buy food after this. <laughs> Uh, to protest is an American right. Vandalism and theft are crimes. Regardless of if it was Fight Club or Black on Mom and Pop, looting was wrong as fuck, in my opinion. And I'll say this. There were people that, um, again, they, they, they were more focused on that than more focused on the, the fact that George Floyd is no longer with us. Miss me there. Because um, I, I, the, I got the anger and rage and frustration, right? Noise was made thing ha has the world changed absolutely not it, it's just gonna take a lot but I, you know i saw i was way i'll put it this way i was waiting for someone to try and reference or justify god in any way while they were looting because i was gonna say doesn't it say thou shalt not steal <laughs> <laughs> i was prepared with the comment but it didn't come it didn't it didn't come across my timeline but i was surely prepared with the comment I was surely prepared. Did you guys see Cool Kids video and they got robbed? They give back so much to the community only for that to happen to them. Sad. Yeah. I mean, the cops were standing right there while it was happening. They didn't stop me. So. And that's, there was, a, there was a cop. Um, I, I will not forget his name. His name was David Dorn. And I forget what metro area he was in. But he lost his life trying to stop looters he was doing his job as a cop this was an elder black man i think he was he was like 70 years old a cop on the street doing his job and he tried to protect a private citizen's business and he was killed in the process and the people that were recording i don't know people judge the people that were recording no they were recording so that there was a record of what happened because they then stood over his body to protect him and to stop other people from looting the store as well um until fellow officers and emts could come to retrieve his body but yeah that i mean you you had a lot that was lost you had to me it, it, it the cycle of destruction and pain kept going it certainly kept going right um, to keep the black dollar actually all dollars, because many white mixed Asian people wouldn't spend at a racist company, but I bet they still exploit most races worldwide, aka Jordan, Nike, Adidas do. I'm not saying a brand is perfect. I'm definitely not. Right? A lot of them get called out and a lot of them have to address things as well. I know I know there are a few sneaker stores that have been called out for their 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 practices against minorities lately, whether it's women um or or black people um asian people being profiled and different things like that um yeah for you to keep that dollar in it has to be right within a community and i know that that's a mixed conversation too that's probably too long to get into of what approach then do you take do you take the approach that and i have seen this right you'll have certain um, ethnicities, they will keep their dollars solely within their own community and they grow, they flourish, they have multiple businesses. Do you go that route? That is, it somewhat could be seen as exclusion or do you go the route of we really want all of us to work together against the problem, right? Because let's not get this twisted. This isn't a black versus white. It's, it's honestly black people versus racism. This is what it is. It's a mentality. It's a structure. Um, it's not something you can see, right? Yes, we can see the acts of racism, but it's not just one individual person, right? It's not just one race of people because you can face racism and it not be from a white person. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, that that's something to be discussed. Do you keep it just within your own community? Who knows? Because here's the thing that comes with that. Just keep it within your own community. Does that then mean you don't want to associate with anyone else that could not be of hatred? Right. That's that's an issue I know Malcolm X ran into and he changed his ways as he got older. But he didn't want the, the help or the assistance of white people whatsoever in that cause and that push um, or for black people to be empowered. Now, he changed his ways after the fact, but he then said, you know, yes, I would I would accept white help. Um, but black people need to get to a certain point where they have already helped themselves. I do know that was something that he was very much so um, pushing as he got older prior to his death. Khan, are you checking people's are you checking people's grammar in the chat? <laughs> the chicken sandwich makes that disagreement go down. <laughs> Do you know I had to look back because the year has been so long? Marcus, I think the chicken sandwich was actually a 2019 thing. I actually don't think it was a 2020 thing. The running meme is like, what if kids ask us about 2020? And we all light a cigarette and we say it started with that damn chicken sandwich. I think it was actually in 2019 the chicken sandwich happened. Which, mind you people, I like Popeyes. I still have not had that chicken sandwich. He all said, right. get a bank account paid a 35 overdraft instead of getting a payday loan if times get too hard. Yeah, now it can, it can depending on how many times you've overdrafted, for those that do it a lot, uh, I know that it becomes more for you beyond that. But yeah, you're better off just doing that. You really are. You're better off just doing that. Let me scroll down. Tony, he's too wild. Thank you, sir, for the super chat. Salute, TJ. Keep killing it. Thank you, Tony. Appreciate you dropping in, showing love. I know you are busy. I saw the brisket you cooked. I am beyond jealous and, and still hungry now <laughs> after seeing it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And guys, again, like I said, I'll have uh, his paratrooper pants. I will have those soon, and I'll have a full video on those for you all. Um, yes, yes, donation. If you all don't know, um, the reason that I actually even have the sample crew neck that I do um, is is based on Wolf's generosity. He said, "Come on, Tony, you spent three hundred on crab. Like, that, that's that man's money. Here we go. We're back to choices. That man, that's that man's money. I don't operate on expectations. That man generously came in here and donated when he didn't have to do anything." That man stays busy because I'm the one always catching his lives. So that man stays busy and, and creating content. Uh, don't think I'm not common. I hear <laughs> okay, Chris. He is always around. Trust me, trust me. He is always around. A retired black St. Louis police officer. Uh, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for the super chat. And thank you, honestly, for serving. Like that, I, I it is a difficult job, right? No, no job in doing that is easy. Of course, there are a lot of things wrong with it. Um, one of the people I've gone, I've grown closest to uh, recently. Um, and listen, he's a cop. He has a difficult, difficult job. I talk to him all the time about it. He has a difficult job. Um, one of my good friends from um, in college together. When you hear the stories that they may experience in a day, listen, it's it's. It's certainly not for the faint or weak of heart, um, but it's not for anyone that that lacks the highest level either of humanity and emotional intelligence because it's difficult. The decisions you make on a dime, um, I mean, you're still telling them to, you know, get home at night. You're still having to do that. You're certainly still having to do that. Um, he said <laughs> the chat here is articulate. <laughs> yeah, they up here. We got we got hooked on phonics lessons. <laughs> we are reading arithmetic around here. Um, yes, this is a good point. I I, I do wish people use Webster. Um, when you look up racism, it, it has to do the actual definitions is based on like systematic oppression. You have to be in charge, in power of a system to oppress. Black people are not in charge of a system. Therefore, we are not racist. We can certainly be prejudiced. Trust me, I've seen I've seen black people show prejudice towards those that I may have dated or been with in the past and they were white. You can you can have black people be prejudiced, not the racism. 
uh, uh, um, he says not the same thing. Um, yeah, to me, being prejudiced to me, it for me, okay, this is just from my perspective. It doesn't necessarily come from a place of hate. It comes from a perceived stereotype, right? You can have a perceived stereotype, right? Of an individual, it, to me, it doesn't mean it comes from a place of hate or thinking they're less than you um, based on something they can't control. Uh, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever read. Black people are racist. I have a lot in my family. You big captain. Oh, listen, everybody's going to have a different difference of opinion because it's going to be based on interpretation. Again, interpretation of anything, a word, a phrase, an action is based on how you filter things. That's why it's all going to be different, right? The best way I can put it to you of how we can both look at the same thing and see two totally different things, think about it like this. Um, if you ever read the four agreements you're, or the, the, the fifth agreement, you'll understand what I mean by saying this. We're all living in our own movie theaters, right? We're the star. We're directing. We're producing. Everybody else, they're just secondary characters. Everything that is happening in our theater, it's being shot one way. If we walk into somebody else's movie theater, we can see ourselves projected on the same screen and we would think that is not how I act, that is not how I sound, that is not anything like me. But that's how they perceive you. That's how their movie is going. So just understand, all of us are in our own movie theaters and we all have blinders on and we all have headphones on. We're not actually perceiving anything outside of what, what, what we believe. So that's why it's hard to want to down people's opinions sometimes, actually. Agree, TJ, there shouldn't be any color in this world. We should learn from kids. They learn who is black, white, Asian as a toddler. They are just another toddler if only we saw it that way. Yeah, kids, I think it's like age, is it age two? They start to understand color. They start to understand those that look like them in skin tone um, versus not. But even then, right, kids don't. They don't hate somebody just because they're not the same color. Um, that that is something that 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 that's still learned. Um, but I mean, there's again, I would say it's not to not see color. Of course, it's to just see everyone with respect. Malcolm X became very enlightened by his pilgrimage to Mecca and saw a racist cohabitating. Yes, he did. So if you all have never ever watched the movie or learned about Malcolm. Um, and I say just watch the movie because you'll get you'll still get a lot out of it. Now, if you want to go deeper, go deeper into his life. But you'll get a lot out of it. You'll see the character development when he does that pilgrimage to Mecca and he comes back a totally different man. Well said, by definition, black people cannot be racist. We don't have the power to oppress. Yeah, that's what I said. Punctuate. We are we are on it. So listen, if you all need English uh, tutors. <laughs> Apparently, my chat is the place to go. Yeah, it's jumping right now. Mm -mm 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 yeah, I'm fine. Listen, you people are going to disagree. It, it's he said, I haven't had that Popeye's chicken. Hey, I, I didn't. I remember CO now messaged me. He's like, I've been in line for an hour. I said, I'd be an hour lie to tell you I'm doing that because I'm not. I'm not doing that. Yeah, a lot of people haven't had it. Um, I'm not, uh, yeah, I'm not doing that. Prejudging not the same as racism. For me, Ian, yeah, for me, it's not the same as racism. So I'm gonna liken it to this, right? Maybe, I don't know how good of an example this is. Um, it's not racist for me to say, if somebody were to just walk down the street, they're a white person. Let's just say they're a white girl, okay? Because this is, this is a, a stereotype that happens. She can't, she probably can't dance. She probably has no rhythm. That's not racist to say that. That's prejudice of me to think that because she's white, she cannot have rhythm. That's not stem from hatred. I don't think she's less than me as an individual in terms of her civil rights, her liberties, her, 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 her right to have a quality of life. That would just be me being prejudiced if I were to say, she probably has no rhythm and can dance. She probably doesn't season her food, right? These are stereotypes that come along with things. It doesn't, it's not the same as um somebody truly thinking i wouldn't deserve the same right to you know a, a, a job a school to marry an individual based on just the color of my skin different things yeah go i agree prejudging isn't it isn't about being racist it's a it's a it's a um 
It is a, I'm trying to think of the way I want to phrase it, but it is eluding me. Um, you're prematurely judging somebody. Doesn't mean that you're doing it out of hate, though. <laughs> Make grammar quick. <laughs> I wish we could, okay? Uh, another reason I was not for group work in school, I felt I needed to go back and have stern talks with all of my English professors and teachers. You passed this child for what? Because I'm in a group with them doing a project and they can't write for anything. Well, hey, it could be a terrible analogy. That's fine. <laughs> it could be. That's fine. You said, hey, to hate, hate to say it, crime is crime. <laughs> I don't think any of this is just, well, I, I'm going to say for me, racism is just black and white, but I, I know the discussions about it won't necessarily be black and white. What are, oh, sorry, it's going down. Let me see. Yeah, typically assumptions are. Assumptions can come from just ignorance, right? Because, I mean, the, and here's the thing. The real definition of ignorance is just to not, not be aware or know something. Um, you, when you prejudge somebody, you don't actually know anything about them. You're just kind of jumping to conclusions. And you jump to conclusions, you usually jump out the window for no reason. I didn't come in the live for school. Well, we're just, we're just kind of here. I want to hear TJ's announcement. <laughs> Is this the is this the cue that we need to shift things? Is that what this is? I don't even know. Let me see if I've been pulled up. To be quite honest with you, uh, let me. I'm gonna have to find my downloads. Uh, of course, this doesn't want to pull up easily. I think I had it pulled up and leave it to me for it to not be pulled up. So thank you windows for being useless right now. I don't think any, I mean, I don't listen. I don't think things are going off the rail. Here's the thing. Um, I take, even if something is directed at me towards hate, I can acknowledge it and not let it really affect me. I'm just gonna be honest. I'm just gonna be real with you. Is this going to pull up? Okay, it's pulled up. All right, here we go. I feel like I have too many windows open, damn it. Okay, so Wolf just wanted to hear, what is happening? No, I don't want another window open, stop it. <laughs> Okay, so we're having this discussion, right? About race, and I think it's a good thing, right? You need to have these d discussions. People need to keep level heads when they're when it's happening. Here's the truth, though. Discussions are being had, but there are still certain things that have not even occurred that should have occurred long ago, right? So the officers involved with George Floyd's murder have been arrested, they have been charged. We're waiting for that to go to trial. Can't say the same from Breonna Taylor, can we? No, we can't. Uh, still walking around, one finally got fired. I can name a number of things you can do for a job and get fired for a lot less. But one, uh, one got fired, that's it. One got fired, um, but I think the focus still needs to be on that, right? Because I know a whole lot else is, is do, going around with brands doing things. I'm not gonna condemn people's actions. Do what you think is, is something to take action for. Um, but it's not the thing at least that I would be asking for, right? I want the officers involved, arrested, tried, because you're not telling me that that needed to happen. Three of you to burst in her apartment and she took a number of, of bullets to the body. It's ridiculous. Right, it was like 22 shots or something. 
Um, and that hits home for me, right? Understand this. I'm a black woman. I live by myself in my own apartment. Who was to say that that couldn't be me? And that was my, that was the question that I really did pose to, you know, kind of sneakers of the fact that the community, what would it take for some people to care, for some people to speak up, for some people to um, take action and everybody taking action, it's going to be in different ways. Everybody doesn't have to be on the front line. Everybody doesn't have the means to donate, but just understand this. It's those teachable moments because we all end up facing them a lot of times where you can go ahead and you can um, address somebody's racism and you don't know the effect that that could have, the domino effect of them continuing to then educate others, hey, maybe change the way you think about things because they're simply unfair based on the color of someone's skin. But for the Brianna Tell You thing, that hits home for me, right? So a lot of you, I understand you want to support me. You... You know, you already watch and your time is the most priceless thing you have. I really do appreciate that. But you want to support me. You want to be there for me. I get it. I appreciate all the Super Chats, truly everything that you guys have donated and given. And you all wanted me to go into merch, right? First off, even with me being very into styling outfits, um, it's not something I wanted to rush into. It's just not. I know that's the, that's the typical blueprint of a sneaker YouTuber. Most people go out and they get a DSLR camera. I didn't do that. I have two phones. <laughs> uh, most people go out and get a camera. They get everything. They invest a lot of capital. Don't see a big return right away because you don't. It takes, a, it takes a while. And then they put out merch. Okay, I wanted to have a really big, uh, a loyal base first off. And... I still wanted it to be bigger than just me, right? And and what better time? There's a lot of things going on right now, far bigger than me. So you guys are going to get what you finally asked for, what you finally badgered me for, okay? But it's not something to have my name plastered all across the front. Um, it's the fact that people in all walks of life need to act their age, not their shoe size, right? That's what I say. Yep. What I've been saying. And so uh, that's what you all will get. Okay? That's what you're going to get. So you will officially have access to pre order. Uh, it's pretty much a collaboration for a cause. Okay? So I am partnering with um, a fresh culture. Um, if you guys don't know them, you can look them up on Instagram and okay. all of their information will uh, be below once I close out this live and everything. And I partner with them. Right. So they had reached out before. But again, I didn't want to I didn't want to branch into merch. It just wasn't something I was pressed to do. And when the uprising really started, they put out a shirt that's very much in line with their brand. And, and it said stay black on it. it was black on black print. It said stay black. And from that, they were able to um, generate, I think, like four or $500, you know, just from those shirts. And outside of what was needed to view the uh, outside of what was needed to run the site, they donated the rest, right, to one of the anti-race anti causes. And that's exactly what's going to happen here, guys. So you all have the ability to pre-order this shirt. It'll be in black with white writing, and then it'll have red accents on it, as you can see. Act your age, not your shoe size, but I'm not keeping the money. Uh, the money will, will be donated to Brianna Taylor's Fund. So you want to support me? That's awesome. But there's, there's bigger things going on than just myself, are you supporting me as a creator? I'm blessed to have a career and additional streams of income to support myself. I'm not hurting for anything. I'm not lacking for anything. I have excess of everything, um, truly, and more packages on the way. That I, I, I don't want the money. Awesome. So you all will get a chance to pre-order on Friday. It'll stay open for two weeks, okay? So it's going to open on the 26th. It'll stay open for two weeks. July 10th, we'll close pre-orders because we're going the pre-order route because guess what? I am at least, I understand the basic intelligence of how this works, 
I will not be left with with sizes and, and stock just sitting in my apartment. That's just, it's just not happening. So we'll know exactly. You'll you'll have your designated size. You'll get your designated shirt. I will not be the one that has to front the bill up front for that to happen. Just in case, um, just in case it uh, it doesn't occur like that, right? So um, let me move. Let me see. Okay, so you guys are able to see that. <laughs> um, so I can see now. Okay, so yes, this is what you're this is what you're getting, right? This is what people wanted. You want me to finally do merch. AJ's already known about it because AJ knows about everything. <laughs> good secret. Huh? I can keep a good secret. <laughs> He's known. He's he's already known. Um, as soon as I thought about it, and I pre-ordered. I like. Um, yeah. So this is this is the route that that I'm going. Um, because I know you guys keep asking me about it. I'm just like I'm not pressed to do it, but it's clear to see that there are there was a lot of push right behind it. Things going on and it just kind of died died down, died off. And that's not what I want to happen. So we'll continue to talk about things, address things on the channel, but understand this, you know, I'll still keep it very true to myself and to my brand. Um, will this be the case for every single shirt or all merch that I put out? No, it's not. But to start out with this colorway, this bread colorway technically, because that's kind of what it is, the black base shirt, um, all of these proceeds for the pre-order, that's going to go towards the Brianna Taylor Fund. Um, so, yes, guys, you now know. So, it's out there now. It's, uh, it's official. So, again, I'll have all the information up available. You will purchase this um, on a Fresh Cultures page. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I will... Actually, let me pull this up. Well, let me see if I can see. I will too. I've done bit, I've done work with them too, so it. Yeah. So there you go. He can certainly um, vouch for them. Let me stop sharing that. Let me. I'll show you their website just so you guys are aware of what it looks like and where you'll be going on Friday. Okay. So this is it. Okay. So a fresh culture clothing company. And I don't know. Okay, so this was the Stay Black shirt that he had in this. Um, this he actually donated these proceeds. I don't know if he still has the details up for it. Let me see. Yeah. So okay. So because of your support, they donated four hundred to the family of George Floyd. They were gonna take it down. They're just gonna leave it up, and they're actually just going to cycle through different causes for this particular shirt. Um, so for myself instead, it will be, you know, talks with TJ and a fresh culture. Um, as you saw, it will have the, um, what am I trying to say? It will have the stay fresh tag on there, but it will actually have my slogan of act your age, not your shoe size. And that'll, that'll be available for you all to pick up. Um, for some people, there will be like a specific colorway for friends and family because they're special. Um, but yeah, so we'll finally do merch. Yeah, finally, finally. So hopefully you all stop badgering me about it. But we'll finally have it. And to me, if I had to step out and finally step into that lane, I wanted it to be for a bigger purpose. So uh, Friday, you guys will be able to pre-order once that closes so just just understand the whole time frame once that closes i'll make sure i announce that it's closed and then you know i'll it, it'll be public i'll let you guys know you know you'll be able to see the receipt for the donation for sure too often i act like i'm saying that listen think about it the people that usually wear even the bigger most common sizes that's like what 14 size 15 my goddad played in the um, major leagues for baseball and so he wears a 14 15 even if he were to act that, that is still immature as hell. And he doesn't act that. He is a... Uh... What about if you have a size 23 shoe? Have you dealt with 23-year-olds? Still a lot lacking there. So act older than, act older than that, too. 
Back older than that. Uh, TJ, you go with the merch. Congrats. Thank you, Green King 220. Truly appreciate it. TJ's balling. I don't know about that. Uh, I don't know about that, but you said I thought the money would be fun to funnel to my account. It surely won't. <laughs> it won't even be funneled to, to, to my account. It won't even be funneled to my account. Uh, but thank you. Thank you. Truly appreciate it. So yes, um, Friday and I'll make sure. So again, I'll, I'll remind people it's going to be mentioned in tomorrow's video Friday. I'll continue to bring it up. I'll make sure I post about it on Instagram. So if you're not following me, follow me at talks with that TJ. I'll make sure that is done. Um, for sure. Make sure everybody yep. gets. It. Yep. AJ, you guys already know he will post about it too. Um, he said, I just got here. What I missed, bruh. That's fine. That's fine. I'll, uh, I'll, pull, it, I'll pull it up for you. <laughs> he said, I just got here. What I missed. I'm trying to see, let me see what this one is. And then I think this is, this might be the Instagram post, but I'm not. Okay. Yeah. I think this might be the Instagram post. So let me share what this will look like. Uh, oh, nope. Not that. Yeah. That. Yeah, so this will this will probably be very similar to what you guys might end up seeing um, on Instagram. So to let you know, merch is here, but not for my own benefit, um, for you all. And listen, I chose a specific colorway. Okay, I don't want to hear you can't coordinate this with shoes. All of you own a shoe that is black, red, and white in some way. I don't want to hear you can't coordinate it. This is available for you for even the most basic people that can't coordinate a thing. So yeah, I don't care if, you know, the Jim Red, the, the Jordan 11 low, the Jim Red that's coming out. Um, I don't, I can't do 11 lows. I, listen, I've talked to people about this. They're like, listen, TJ, even if you go with a seven, it's just going to be longer. It's not going to help with the width and the pain of your foot. So I won't be getting it, but I have fire red fives. I have the fly nib red ones. I have options. I have the bread one or bread 11s, the bread fours. So there are options, people, certainly, but that's probably what it'll look like. Um, you can see the tag for the collaboration at the bottom for myself and then a fresh um, there. But yeah, so there'll be a friends and family. It'll just be a totally different colorway um, for a select number of people. Yes, it closes on mom's birthday. Um, the link, so once I have that, that'll be shared with you guys. It's probably not going to be up till Friday, though. Probably won't be up till Friday. Appreciate it, go. Appreciate it. He said, what's up, <laughs> hey, TJ? AJ, stay safe. You as well on the 20. Stay safe. Yes, Boss Kicks, you finally get merch. We good now? You finally get it. We good now? You finally get merch. He said, I'm not even wearing the t <laughs> We'll have different colors, right? So again, this for sure, these proceeds will go towards that. And then I know you all want to support me and the channel because naturally when you guys support creators, we do, um, we invest back into the channel, right? So whether that's new equipment, um, whether it's traveling to different places so you all can get an idea to see us vlogging and doing different things. Um, yeah, so I'm not gonna say that every single, that all the proceeds from every single release is gonna go towards a cause. Um, at times, a channel is the cause <laughs> to move it forward and give you guys what you deserve. Like, especially if I if I choose to go live more, right? I would maybe just invest in a much higher grade webcam and things like that. So um, that's just for down the line, though. We'll focus on just here, see what we get. Um, I mean, trust me, I'm gonna I'm gonna be floored, blown away if we're able to donate like a thousand dollars. That'd be amazing. So of course it will just all be based on the profit margin, but um, I'm I'm pretty confident shirts will be at twenty five dollars, and then you'll just need to cover uh, shipping after that. But twenty five, so pretty reasonable, cheaper than a lot of the Nike shirts I end up buying for thirty and thirty five dollars. Um, again, just so it is communicated clearly, I am not keeping the profit. This is going towards Brianna Taylor Fund. He said, make sure they can. Well, make sure they can our swooshes and jump in. I'm trying to coordinate, okay? Listen, I'm trying to coordinate for y'all, truly. You can literally wear that with any important one. Doesn't matter what color it is. Well, I'm wear it with purple, green, yellow. Yeah, it doesn't matter at this point. Y'all are just going to wear it, okay? This is the thing. Mm -hmm. You said you need a hoodie next. 
Um, we're gonna we're gonna hold up. You know we'll eventually have hoodies. We'll hold off on that for right now, just because we are in the heart of summer. We'll hold off for right now. But yeah, that's what I want. Listen, I want to be able to donate a stack, truly. I'm gonna keep pushing this. If I could donate a stack, that would be awesome to know that you uh because in you wanting to support me, this is more so still about supporting that cause, right? The noise doesn't need to die down. Um, for the fact that Breonna Taylor's, uh, uh, those officers have not been arrested. That doesn't need to die down. That doesn't need to be lost. I get it. Like we, we've definitely, um, circled away. We, we've kind of moved away from the looting, the fact that there was riots. Well, depending on what you look at, I don't know. Mainstream media so, shows one thing and Twitter, I feel like shows the underground truth of what goes on at some of these protests, but the focus of what's still a problem. People are still able to just go about without accountability for senselessness. That needs to change. That's what I still want to focus on. He said, I'll get this shirt and we're matching Adidas. Here's the thing. There is not a swoosh. There is not a jump man on here. You do you. I don't care. As long as the money is going towards her fund, I don't care. Huh? I don't care. I don't care. It's black, red, and white. You can wear it with anything, okay? Listen, the pine green ones, you can still get away with those Zoom Fly SPs because the infrared in there. I mean, I was, um, was going to give Storm B, uh, you know, a vault pack, but now they're talking about Adidas, uh, I might have to take that right. back. <laughs> they could, I will, listen, we're going to, I promise you, we'll venture into all of that. I promise you. We will get into all of that. I promise you. Are they, are, I didn't know they were still tearing Milwaukee up. I didn't know. Again, who, there, there are times where I'm like, what, what's happening? What's not happening? I didn't know that they were still tearing Milwaukee up. But, I mean, 400 years of a uh, humanity problem. I don't know what people expect. I'm trying to get the friends and family. That, that list is made. I'm just going to be real with you. That list is made. Um, there's a reason there. Well, there are a lot of reasons you don't see me in a lot of places on YouTube, right? Um, I have a super small circle. Okay. So small. Many times I talk to my damn self. Okay. <laughs> and then once, <laughs> once I ran out and gotten tired of myself, then I can hit up the other people I talk to on a daily basis. And these are consistent people that I talk to. Um, um, like, like it's nothing, uh, all the time. So, you know, those people will receive that friends and family. And then beyond that, you know, we'll, we'll have the general release colorway. We'll move, we'll move past that. We'll see what else based on what you guys say, the next color you would want to see. Cause I've already got mock-ups for a white base and a gray base, but black, I think is definitely something a lot of people can rock with wear more. So that's what we're going to start with. Um, he said they ordered the National Guard. I know the National Guard has been ordered in a few places. He said this is too short. <laughs> 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 Sir, as you can see, they don't tolerate that around here. I mean, he said it was a joke, so it's <laughs> we don't joke like that over here, you know, three strikes. <laughs> no, no, no. He said, I hope nobody resells the shirt. I don't know if I should be flattered or offended if they resold the shirt. Probably flattered. Man, that's, that'd be dope. Probably flattered if somebody resold uh, the shirt because, my goodness, um, yeah, that, I mean, that'd be insane. All right, who's um, going to be the first? Here's the thing. You bought the shirt, and the proceeds still went to her fund. So beyond that, I can't tell you what to do with the shirt. All right, who's going to be the first one to put on StockX? <laughs> Like the chicken sandwich that was. And listen, I was waiting for somebody to hit me up. Like TJ, can I get a link to the to the chicken sandwich? <laughs> he said the friends and family big on the resale market. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know the list for the friends and family. Uh, so I don't think anybody on that list would do that. For one, I know a few people that can't even don't even know how to use StockX, right? Because they would be my parents. <laughs> You wouldn't even know how to use it. They're just pretty much gonna look at me. Of course, I want the shirt, so I'll make sure we get we get the shirt. Which that just means I'm the one fronting the money, but that's fine. 
So is that, is that the next merge? Is that the next merge? Oh, it skipped, it skipped ahead. My bad. He said circumstance will talk to us. <laughs> Anytime I see run it too, I think of Mike the Compass. So that's funny that you said that. Um, yeah, listen, that could be a phrase as well, but it is it's truly a thing. The circle really is small. I mean, look at look, you can guess about figure out. I don't know how many chats do you see me in. Um It's always me and you. <laughs> here you go. Listen, because there there comes, and I've said this before, right? Um, perception has to do with association as well. So as an adult who has a lot going on beyond just what you all see and that's put out, I truly don't have the time nor patience in my day to be concerned with how another individual carries themselves on the internet and then what is perceived because I've associated with them. I don't have time for that. I don't have children. Therefore, I'm not babysitting a grown adult. So that's not happening. You know how you remove the, the, the concern for that? You literally say less, you associate with less, you focus on yourself. How do you think this skin stays clear? I mind my business and drink my water, okay? I'll, I'll, I'll be running around in all types of circles. <laughs> he said, I need a navy and white version for Yankees gear. Ooh. We should, we should, yeah, we should probably, we could, we could, we could, we could, we could, we could talk about that. We could talk about that. I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody thought the first colorway would be like warriors, but no one would buy it but me. So I couldn't, I couldn't go that route. He said, TJ, you autograph mines if I cop. Um, they won't come for me. Like I won't be the one shipping them out. But what we can do, um, AJ and I are trying to plan like, like meet and greets and stuff like that. So if we can, if we can lock down, our September trip, if we can lock down our September trip. And, and if it's if it's possible for you to be where we're going to be, then and then absolutely, because we're going to try to do a meet and greet in September. Um, yeah. We can get everything figured out. Autograph charge for $50. <laughs> uh, I, I won't have them in hand before you guys get them. He said, I'll be, hold on, where, where is it? Because this is comical. This is comical because it's true. He said, I'm becoming the third wheel. <laughs> he's going he's gonna to be the one vetting people. He can only become a third wheel if he posts something on Instagram. Oh, wow. He's going to bring you out of hiding. He's going to mm -hmm. bring you out of hiding. He said, are they numbers? GR limited release hard to cop. Um, I mean, this is going to be considered a GR, right? Because you guys are going to be able to pre-order. So it's just based on whatever the pre-orders are. You go. And you order yours. Um, now, for the friends and family, it's limited. Like, when I say limited, it's it's not just going to be hella shirts floating around out here. It's going to be truly limited. Hey. We appreciate that. Here's the thing. If you didn't think we were a great company to be in, we know we're a great company to be in because we talk to each other all day. We made ourselves <laughs> times, or most of the times. Yeah, no, really. Facts. Yankee, so the whole shirt <laughs> Um, listen, I just, you will, no, I'm, I don't really think you'd ever find a Boston colorway of any merch that I did. Um, because if I wanted to rep USA, I would just buy a soccer jersey, truthfully. I would just buy a soccer jersey. The, 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 uh, what is it? The 20K man. What is up? Jay, the sneaker guy, the best lace swaps truly in the game. This man makes me want to buy shoes that I didn't even have on my radar just so I could lace swap them. But yeah, if you guys are not subscribed, you don't know who Jay is. I, I hope you're not living under a rock. Um, but make sure that you go and subscribe to Jay the Sneaker Guy. Amazing, amazing content. Amazing energy. Very positive. Um, absolutely love his channel. Uh, PJ Soulfly or PI Soulfly. I'm sorry. He said, Hey, TJ, new subscriber, but like the talks. Thank you. I appreciate it. It really is just a lot of talks. Somebody commented walks with TJ on my Instagram the other day because I was walking by the trailer. I'm like, listen, I can flip it to whatever. It also means I can talk about whatever. Um, Leon Pierce, you know, I need one. Yeah. So we're going to get ready to wrap this up because I really do need to go get myself food. But Friday is when the, the, the site will open. I'm um, on a fresh culture. So you guys will be able to go there 
place your pre-order and then it'll close in two weeks time. I'm just trying to give people time, right? Listen, everybody, well, you should be operating on a budget, right? So you now need to go into your budget and work in this shirt. Do not spend your last, do not forego a bill. Do not come to me say you can't, you couldn't do X, Y, and Z because you bought my shirt. That's not how we operate um, around here. So plan ahead. Shirt will be $25 plus tax. So I think somebody acts like for the big and husky. Um, it, I think, it, I think we're doing it up to three X maybe I think till three, I think up to three. X. Now I understand sometimes and AJ knows is once you get into the larger shirt, sometimes there's extra costs. Yeah. Like an extra dollar or two dollars maybe associated with it. Two dollars for two X and anything over three X, I think is an additional four dollars. Something okay, like so just be mindful there may be a price difference if you venture into the two X or the three X. But yeah, I'm gonna make sure three X is at least available for purchase. I will certainly do that. Um no, Jay, absolutely, man. Absolutely, absolutely. Love everything about the videos, man. Absolutely. Yeah, people, truly, if you, if you haven't, um, if you haven't watched his channel, um, I mean, you get, you get quite a bit, right? Outside of just seeing the lace swaps, um, he has ton, like when people say, oh, get your sock game up. No, really, he goes to like every store and he finds the best socks at every store and he has them all. So it's all coordinated. Um, I tagged, I tagged one of my really good friends in the Florida, in the Jordan three, the, the Knicks, cause it really does look like a, a, a Florida Gator Jordan. Um, he had the Florida Gator socks. I knew my buddy would appreciate that. He's a diehard Florida fan. So, you know, uh, sock game is crazy. Lace swap. And people, appreciate the lace swaps. You know how tedious it is to lace sneakers. He'll do that like five times for a video. So just appreciate that. That is Man. that is dedication for all of you. Never to lace a sneaker up. It, l listen, I've looked at sneakers and I'm like back in the box. <laughs> I've looked at a Jordan one and I'm like, not being worn today. <laughs> uh, you say you got two weeks for this shirt. No, yeah, here's the thing. We got two weeks time. 25. Truly, don't go out to eat for twice in a, tw two times in a week. Do that for two weeks. There you go. Uh -huh. I've, just, I've just funded your shirt. He said, I've been shopping all week. Listen, there is a sheet about this long. It's on my calendar, right? And it had a column of stuff that was arriving. This is how bad it is. I need to keep track of stuff arriving at my house. <laughs> then I ventured to the other side of the paper. And I'm hoping I don't feel that side up. But my track record is terrible. My track record is terrible. He said, oh, damn. He said, I got to budget my food intake the week. <laughs> <laughs> I've already said, look, yeah, truly, I'm, I'm about to go. I'm going to go get food. Listen, it's not that I don't have food in the fridge. I, I do. I just don't fully cook it. It just is what it is. I have food in the fridge. I also forgot to take salmon out. That's my fault. So I'm just, I'm going to suck it up. I'm going to suck it up. All right. So just to let you know, um, it you it's open for pre-order on Friday. It'll stay open till July 10th. So after the holiday, we'll stay open till July 10th. And then after that is, is when we'll wrap it all up and start getting shirts out. Um listen, no, you gotta understand people having to curb their eating. It's as look, it's as simple as for for think about it. So let's just say you go to Chick-fil-A once a week. That's at least eight dollars if you get a sandwich and Let's just say fries, maybe a drink. And then if at any point you choose to go eat out somewhere else, I mean, you're spending like minimum $8. If you're not going to get like a four for four at Wendy's. Friends and, friends and family is a different colorway. It's a, it's a totally different colorway. Um, I won't lie. It'll be a colorway that some people would probably be like, I don't know if I could pull that off. So... <laughs> It'll be a colorway. I mean, I'm not saying all my friends and family, close people that can dress, but like my mom has style. My dad, I kid you not. So this was a long time ago. I know he doesn't have them anymore. No joke. My dad had Jordans and they were customized. I'm not playing with Afrocentric fabric on the Jordan. Don't ask me how. I don't know who did it. 
the man was also at All Star Weekend when it was in Vegas or something one time, and just thought to, it was funny to call me while he was at the game. I hung up on him, um, but yeah, no, he's uh, my my. I, I I guess I got style honest. I, no, it won't be uh, through Instagram. It'll be on a Fresh Cultures website. So all of that again. Tune into the Friday video, and I'll make sure that all of that is posted. Right when it does go live on um the the site i'll make sure i post about it friday as well I'll I, might have to do it. I might even have to hop on live on on uh i might even have to hop on instagram live to kind of give you guys an update too what you said jay is like the older cousin that always says the sneaker and sock game on a lot bro is hella humble pushes out great content that's exactly what he is to me jay is that person he shows up it's like it's like you're at that family event you don't want to be at and like your favorite cousin shows up and not only are they fun to be around, but they're always fly. So you're like, I'm going to go be with that person. Forget the rest of y'all. You know, he said next week we live for deliveries, man. My, del I, I feel bad sometimes for, uh, for my postal person. Yeah. I use shop. That's how I track packages. I, I just got a package in. I can't show it. It's a big box. I don't know when the video is coming out. But again, the close friends and family saw the box. They, well, they saw they saw the big box already. They already know what's in it. Um, but I'm I'm excited to unbox that and show it to you guys because it's it's something pretty different that I don't show on my channel a whole lot. It is still shoe related. Got to have the wing stop. Um, so well, if that's what I'm debating doing, I'm debating just ordering more than what I normally do, and just. Yeah, I'm just, I'm debating just ordering more than I normally do. He said, I live at Chick-fil-A. I do too. I'm just trying. They get my money every Saturday. Yeah, no, listen. So I'm going to date my dad. Um, I'm going to date him, right? But listen, my dad is like older, right? Like my dad uses phrases like he over there pining for the girl. <laughs> like this is how old he is, right? Okay, so... Uh, my dad always like my nickname is just still Turkey. I don't know why, but he'll be like, listen here, Turkey. The, so this is, th that's him. Okay. That's just him. And I never get called my name. I just get called Tej, T-E-E-J. So if, like, I don't even get called my own name by my parents. If I ever do, I know I'm in deep trouble. They don't even call my first name. You're not having a shock drop on this T. No, 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 no. I won't. I, I, I wouldn't do that. Um, because of the point of it. I certainly wouldn't do that because I want people to know about it, to be able to purchase it for the cause that it's going for. Not doing a shock drop. I swear to you, you're not going to see a shock drop. No, no, no. It'll certainly be on Friday. Wes, you're good. Tell the wife we said what's up. Hi. Need a wing stop collab. <laughs> wing stop is green and white, so I only have the pine green 2.0s to go with it. And then that's Michigan State colors. I don't know how I feel about it. He said, Wes, you left me by yourself. You a sharpshooter. You fine. You are a sharpshooter. You are A-OK. -okay. You are A-OK. -okay. But all right, so you guys see it. OK, so um, Thursday, you'll have a video tomorrow, which will actually show you what was inside the bag. I left you guys on a cliffhanger. Um, so you guys will see what was inside the bag and then you'll have the actual, what's Friday's video? This is how you know I have too much stuff going on. What is Friday's video? <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to remind myself of what Friday's video is. Uh, oh, okay. Thursday, you'll see what's in the bag. Friday, the bag, the, the, what's in the bag will be styled. And then um, Saturday, God, this calendar is too full. Okay, Saturday, normal video, well, normal video, whatever, unboxing. <laughs> um, Sunday, I'm trying to see if I'll do a recap for the 11. I, I haven't been to the store. I don't even know if we got it. A lot of first come first serve stores aren't getting things in, guys. Kind of keep 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 uh, keep that in mind. So I don't know if we got it, but I will do. Uh, we'll see. There'll be a video Sunday, I'm sure. 
What was the announcement? Wes, what's on the screen? Before we close out, Wes, what's on the screen? Pay attention to what's on the screen. But yeah, that's it. So uh, yeah, so this shirt again, Friday. I'll keep you all informed. I promise no shock drop. Yeah, dad's a triple OG. Dad, so I'll, I'll just tell you this before we end out. Uh, so for the All-Star, my, my dad was a diehard uh, Kobe fan. Like, he's a Lakers fan. Um, so you can see where we butt heads there. <laughs> Um, but so when that happened, he then made, made, made sure to, to text and call <laughs> and then call more. <laughs> and because I was, I, I would, uh, not, I would literally leave whatever was going on elsewhere and like go and watch Sunday football with him, like in between church services and stuff. So the all-star game came on. So pre-show happened, you know, the tribute to Kobe, I literally sat on the phone with him during the entire first half of the All-Star game on the phone while I was – I think I was actually doing my hair at the time. Sat with him uh, for a whole first half talking about the game and everything. And so, yeah, definitely OG. Talk sports with him all day. He actually – he didn't um, – it was funny because, when, when you know, we didn't have sports at all. We still don't have it right now. And I said, why don't you just go watch older games? He's like, it's not the same. I want to watch real life sports. So he wasn't having any of those older games things. Mm-hmm. He wasn't having it. Um, but yeah, Wes, he's trying to help you out. He's trying to help you out, Wes. Okay. Um, and yeah, I mean, just full disclosure, the people that are in the chat that have friends and family access, it's of course AJ, and then it's Wolf and Wes. That's just being honest with you, okay? So those are the ones that have access to friends and family. Well, I mean, you know, you know his, his what he has to do in order to get that access. So. Oh, Wolf! He said you have to post. <laughs> <laughs> he said you have to post. Mm-hmm. Man, that's. Post post the merch thing, so get the sales up. So okay, I'm... so he's saying you can post. He said it has to be it has to be about the merch. He said that has to be your post. He'll post that. You know he doesn't care. Um, Wes, I don't know about baby sizes. I actually had no, I actually had somebody else ask, could we do toddler sizes for their toddler? Um, let me let me look into it. Let me look into it, and I'll try to figure that out by Friday. Because I, I know a few infants. I know parents that want to get them. He says, watching the '96 All Star Game with MJ and Kobe the other day, it was epic. Yeah, it 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 pays to watch some of the older games for sure. It does pay to watch some of the older games. It does. I mean, I, I felt like we were doing that with the last dance, right? And and then that ended, and that was bittersweet for it to end. But then it was just bitter once I saw the prices for all the shoes on my StockX follow list. Like, bro, why did flu games shoot up so fast? Did you see the price of the last last uh, shots? I don't. I'm not trying to go after that, so that's fine. That doesn't break my heart um, as much. Let's let's just take a look at retros on my list, y'all. Now, thankfully, some of them are in my cart on StockX or not on StockX. Sorry, on eBay. Um, what's in my cart right now? Let's see. What, what am I following? Let's see. What shot here? As you can see, I'm having to scroll to even get. Yeah, core purple low Jordan one is one seventy three for my size. Oh, good. Um, the seventy two ten is is actually on par with a regular retail of one eighty, so I can't even complain there. Um, the Columbia four wasn't shown, I don't think. So I mean, it's one eighty nine. That's not bad. But let's keep venturing down. Flu game went up to 220. Why am I paying men's prices? Uh, the bread 13, which I desperately want. I have a love for 13s. Now, 250. Black metallic fives, 250. I don't know why the true blues are still high. 281. Um, we're not going to discuss the Michigan five being $338. Crazy. Pretty much. My bread, my bread ones have always been high for 2016. They're 434. Listen, it is what it is. You guys have merch now. 
it is a collaboration for a cause with a fresh culture. All proceeds will go towards the Breonna Taylor Fund. So again, whatever is not needed to actually produce the shirts and run his site is, is going straight to her fund. Um, my goal, I would I would love for us collectively as a two swoosh crew to be able to donate um, $1,000. So we, we hit that awesome. If we go above and beyond, even, even more amazing. Um, Wes, so if I can make it to North Carolina in September and you guys are there, absolutely. Because I would imagine you'd be in the shop where we are. AJ, did you know it was going to happen way before? AJ knows everything. Like, I don't know how you people really don't know. Like, I just AJ ends it. up knowing all the behind the scenes stuff. Like, yeah. like before it happens. They're all hints, like, a lot. And people don't catch on until they're like, oh, yeah, you were right. At Duh. all. So. At all. Yeah, Wes, he's helping you out. He's helping you out. Go to the, you just come to the shop. That's what we're planning. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make this trip. Uh -huh. uh, two best slices out. Okay, you've heard about them a lot on my, on my page here. So that is the plan to go there in September. Um, I mean, I'm gonna try to vlog. I'm gonna try to do a lot for you guys if I can make it down there. Uh -huh. That's yeah, break said it. Break. Listen. And, and and when Brake says things, it breaks my heart though, because I know it's true. <laughs> I know it's true when he says it, and he was not joking. He was not joking at all. Um, he wasn't joking at all. But yeah, guys, so that's it. So you'll have merch available on Friday. I will make sure to announce it on my channel. Um, I'll announce it here. I'll post links here. I'll post links all over. Okay. Um, you can finally be able to literally point to people when they act in childish as hell. Just point. Matter of fact, just ask them what 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 what's your shoe size. Just ask them. Your shoe size. <laughs> just ask them that. Um, the site name: A Fresh Culture. So, a fresh like to to renew, to be restored, to be you know refreshed. A fresh a f r e s h culture dot com. And again, that'll be posted. So what I'm going to do when this live is done, guys, um, I will post it here once this long process renders. I'll post it here. I'm going to make sure it's posted on Thursday, Friday. It'll be posted in every video through the 10. Y'all know I'll probably have a video every day through the 10 because I have too much stuff that I actually do need to get out to you all. All right, so thank you for joining in. AJ was here. This is pretty much a go talk talked about a lot in this two and a half hour time. This is a whole movie again. Uh -huh. Hope you all enjoyed it. I appreciate you all. Again, your time is the most priceless thing. Uh, but you all want to support? So we'll support for a cause. Again, the shirt will come out on Friday going towards the Breonna Taylor Fund. Uh, so as always, guys, at your age, now your shoe size, I thank you all for coming to this live. Peace out. If it'll end, I don't think it wants me to end. <laughs>